Hello everyone, welcome to Ender Magnolia, Bloom in the Mist. So, when I saw that there was a sequel for Ender Lilies, I was incredibly excited because I absolutely loved Ender Lilies. It was such a neat game. Um, people that have watched me for a bit probably know I usually don't play things in early access, but I thought this was too tempting to pass up. And I'm going to try to do something a little bit crazy. Um, I've heard that the early access content right now is between like two to four hours, depending on how much you do. I'm going to try to do it all in one session and upload it as a big video. Homunculi, artificial forms of life. Word is they're mostly human, is that true? Human, those mutants, all those times they've attacked us. Those things only look like us. Similarities in there. Woman's voice. Oh, be not afraid. It will be all right. <laughs> Your moment is at hand. What we've prepared for. Listen carefully. Seek out allies. Find the other attuners. I have faith in you. You can. The homunculi. Yeah, so one thing I did remember from looking at this is we're like... I was gonna say we're a way younger character, but I guess we were very young in the in Ender Lilies as well. Um, but this is going to be interesting to see how this unravels. Uh, still alive. Yup. But how? I've forgotten something or someone, someone important. What is this place? Move and jump. All right. So since we are, since this is early access and I'm definitely playing the full game when it comes out, we might not be as thorough as I usually am. Ancient experiment log, scrapped homunculi 1400 plus. Homunculus tuners to be transported. Insufficient number of specimens scrapped per month. Decreasing contact research facility. Insufficient number of specimens scrapped per month. How many do you want scrapped? Seems rude. So, uh, currently it seems like move and jump's kind of all I got. I don't even have a dodge on like B. Oh wait, it was RT in this. That's right. So we do have a little cheeky little dodge. It's not the dive that we had in the previous game. I always thought it was funny because my character just like dove on their stomach. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. I guess I can kind of do it like that, but... But yeah, we might not be as thorough. Um, I'm not going to feel the need to 100% the early access release because, like I said, I probably will end up playing the full release when it comes out. But uh, I just wanted to see it. It seems like it's going to be very cool. Like I said, definitely one of the fa my favorite Metroidvanias that I have played on the channel. This looks like it could be useful. Healing Ward. Ground slash water. Restore Lilacs. Oh, that's such an adorable name. Lilacs HP. While uses are limited, they can be replenished at respites. Amulet of protection... Amulets of protection resonate within Argentine vials, invoking a protective ward. Interesting. Interesting. Is it saying I, like, get protected while I'm healing? Or is that... Resonate within Argentine vials. A protective ward. Huh. Alright, use uh, LB to recover HP, healing is limited, the number of heals available is displayed. Yeah, that's all self-explanatory. We got that. Let me climb up here. Okay, that looks like it might be an enemy. My choice put the run past for now. Hiya! Eat that, eat my dodge roll. Uh, there you go. Subterranean testing site ruins. So I don't actually know when this is coming out of early access and Like I mentioned, I don't normally play things in early access because it creates a bit of weirdness where you know I have to like Replay it when replay the stuff I did in early access when the full game comes out and all that But like I said, I love this game too much to kind of pass it up Plus I, I mean, you know, maybe it'll do well video wise playing the early access release so I had the time. I thought, what the hey? Oh, hold this down and then RT dash. Oh, neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While dashing, running jump. Here we go. Alright, that's neat. Boom. 
Hello. Alright, hi. How are you? My first, uh, friend? A homunculus. It isn't moving. Has its magic been exhausted? Eyes that plead for death. Or rather, eyes that do not fear death. You seem familiar. Do you not fear me? Why would I be afraid? I've been around homunculi since I was little. All I've ever wanted is to help them. Lend me your power, then. A touch of magic should allow me to liberate myself. In turn, I will aid in your survival. There you go, I made you glowy. Are you happy? My aid comes with a condition. What is it? You fear I might devour you? We can speak further once we have escaped this dreary pit. It would be more efficient. I assume you'd rather not linger either. Okay, my first homunculi, or Nola. A mysterious com combat homunculus abandoned at the subterranean testing site. Looks nothing like the worker homunculi found in the lower stratum. An ancient noble aura surrounds her. Nola has joined your side. You can prowl now make use of her abilities by pressing X to attack in front of you, use her attacks to cut down enemies, and break certain boxes and walls. So anybody not familiar with Ender Lilies um, or what this game is about, yeah, basically you get like different... It, it, I always think of it as like spirits, and you can kind of call on them. Uh, Bloodstained has a very similar thing, except the interesting thing about Ender Lilies is all of your attacks were used to these. In like bloodstained and stuff, you know, it was like specials that did that. And obviously, this is like in Castlevania as well, although I'm not as familiar with the Castlevania stuff because I haven't played, uh, I believe, Symphony of the Night it was. So, but yeah, we get spirits. The spirits help us fight and stuff, and we can swap them out to uh, whatever moveset we liked. It was super, super interesting and why I loved Ender Lilies so, so much. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get through here. I'm imagining uh, these, yes, are the things I can destroy. Can't hit lanterns. I remembered one of the interesting things uh, about this. I don't know how much this actually connects to Ender Lilies. Um, and I'm a little bit fuzzy on the story because that was a bit ago for me at this point. And I play so many things. <laughs> so, uh, and one thing I did notice looking at this compared to, um, Ender Lilies, it seems like maybe I'm just thinking this up in my head and I'm not remembering from Ender Lilies. It seems like there's a little bit more tech, like, we're still using swords and things like that, but it seems like there's a little bit more tech. I can't remember quite how much Ender Lilies had, but I want to say it leaned more towards like a, you know, like a high fantasy medieval thing, and this seems like it's leaning a little bit more forward in time tech-wise. Respites can be found in multiple locations. Resting as a respite will save your game, as well as replenish lilacs, HP, and heals. However, doing so will also cause previously defeated enemies to walk the land again. I can rest. Spites allow you to rewatch cutscenes you previously viewed. Interesting. Homunculi. And then, yeah, I can set them. We can have four. Could we only have three before? Am I crazy? I might be crazy. I might be crazy. Like I said, been a while since I played Ender Lilies. And yeah, there's the one memory I can look at. Difficulty settings, unavailable in the early access version. Uh, don't have any equipment or anything like that, so... Alright, let us move forward. Like I said, I'm, I'm still gonna try to find secrets and things, but if I get to like the end of the early access and it's like, oh, you're still missing like a few items and treasure chests, I'm not gonna go back to get those, but I'm gonna try to be as thorough as I can. Uh, this one does not seem to care about me. I do not appear to have the strength required to get past that one. There's a little marker on the map telling me, uh, no. You are not going that way. 
Secrets? Secrets? No? I should be smacking walls more. Way, way more. Could have already walked past something. So how's our map? I always like to judge Metroidvania maps. Seems pretty good. Um, I do generally like when it actually kind of follows the layout of the room rather than just being like a square. Uh, because it helps with, you know, kind of visualizing. So that is quite nice. Boom, boom. Bye-bye. So far, so good. Uh, ooh, okay, and then there, here's this menu. Yeah, and we can see my stats and everything here. Collection, healing ward, dodge, jump, dash, and then Nola, yeah. Okay, so this is what I wanted to look at. So we don't want to go down there, we want to go up here. There you are. I don't like you. There you go, bye bye. So, was there a door? I don't think so back there that I could destroy now that I have this. Ow! Okay, I thought I was gonna kind of stun lock you a little bit, I will not lie. Ooh, okay, I thought maybe. There was something there, but no. This is gonna be interesting, I haven't had one of those, um... I haven't had one of those playthroughs where I just like... Can I not make that? I don't have like a jump either. Um, I haven't had one of these playthroughs where I try to finish an entire game in like, you know, one session in quite a while. Yeah, I can't get like the running jump going. Hmm. Okay, I was just bad at the jump, that's all it was. I just had to make that a little bit better of a jump. Ow! I jumped right into that. Was my bad. There we go. Hello. Ooh. Anti-aired, get out of here. You gonna shoot? Okay, they do have a stagger meter that we can break. It's the, uh, I'm imagining it's that yellow bar. Yeah, that's what actually staggers them. So you don't get like hit stun, you actually have a meter you have to build up to stagger them in this game. Once again, so many Metroidvanias played. <laughs> and so many of them are so different. Hi. Ah, poison. Luckily, I outrange you, so... That is not a problem. Hi. Whoop. There we go. Okay, this one's a bit awkward, though. We're gonna have to wait for that poison to go away, jump real quick, then I slashy slashy. There we go. Thank you for your contribution to the Lilac Fund. Locked. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our sprint on. Ooh, another spite. Would you look at that? Uh, enhance? Can I enhance yet? Ooh. Um, and then relics enhance memories. Let's see. So, yeah, I can't enhance you right yet. I need some stuff. Relics. I have no none of those, it seems. Just wanted to check out my stuff, just to kind of make sure. Okay. Uh, memories, enhance, relics, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's, like, a stat increase or anything. I think how Ender Lilies handled it was your stats just went up when you leveled up. You can maybe influence your level ups some way, or it's like, yeah, it's this stuff, the equipment you get on. But I don't like spin points or anything like you would in, say, The Last Faith. Alright. I wonder what the graying of rooms means. Does that mean I haven't cleared everything out in there, maybe? Whereas in the blue rooms I've gotten everything? That would be interesting if so. I would love a feature like that. Hi. Enemy break damage. Below the enemy's HP gauge is a gauge that represents break damage. It will decrease as you attack enemies and cause a knockback or stagger effect when depleted. This is your chance to go on the offensive. Be wary of attacks from enemies yet to be staggered, and watch out for counterattacks as they recover. Hi. Okay. Wow, you're getting comboed, friend. Uh-huh. Okay, nice shore you. The shore you was pretty sick, I'll give you that. Um... Ooh. 
Okay, get out of there. Oh, cheeky. Uh huh. Okay. Nothing too bad. Ow, I did take a hit there, but. Bang, bang, bang. Got a little bit greedy. We need to not do that. Goodbye, though. First boss fight. Couldn't expect you to be anything too crazy. Sorry, other child. No, don't leave me. Perhaps I can help. Tune. Hello? Lilac, where are you going? Take me with you. Fumes? Fumes? Fumes. So it said you were a test subject. You'll help me? The others, all they wanted was to go outside. Ooh. Okay, and you were specifically like, I was being led away, and you were Lita, the child test subject. A discarded text test subject from a homunculus processing plant. He was one of many homunculi who were exposed to the fumes as part of an experiment to observe how long they could withstand the effects before being driven by madness. As the fumes took hold, hordes of homunculi began to tear through each other, climbing the resulting pile of bodies in a frenzied bid to escape to higher ground. Leto survived by being buried under the pile. Oh my god. So, that's why you were separated from me. Clearly I was chosen for something else, possibly because I was, um, I, I had a better, what's the word, compatibility? Right with it or something like I took to it better and you were clearly used to test uh, fumes which appears to be a gas that just makes homunculi go crazy and kill each other and climb on top of the resulting pile of bodies to try and escape wow I'm glad we're starting off on a happy note <laughs> in her magnolia I mean I didn't expect happy but damn Lito is able to attack independently of lilac and nola it is possible to activate Lito's ability and use nola to attack at the same time However, Lido requires a cooldown period in between uses. Okay, so you're like an active. Woof. What a rough thing for a child to deal with. Okay. So, you. Uh, equipment can only be changed to replicas. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And at last, with this free. Subterranean testing site key. Oh, look, there's strawberry jam on it. The key that unlocks the magical gate leading to, to the subterranean testing site. The subterranean testing site is currently closed and off limits. Oh. Alright, does, does that mean like like in the early access? Or I imagine this is where I gotta go next. <laughs> Start to open the menu. You can view lilac status, equipped items, and access the map. Yeah. So. Status, equipment. Yep. Subterranean testing site. Currently off limits. Alright. I'm already liking where this is going. And it has a lot of the... Ender Lily stuff that I love. This, like, this immaculate background here. Just crazy amounts of detail. We can see, like, a testing tube that was busted out of and got loose. All of the hands in the corpse piles. And then, of course, the Piste de Resistance corpse pile right there that has the people reaching towards the light. Wow, this is an incredibly depressing but very beautiful room. All right. The abilities of allies can be changed at respite. Try experimenting with the myriad of the abilities at your disposal. You can see that again. Alright, homunculi. So, you are a cooldown. Prosthetic arm that projects a flaming fist, inflicting the blaze status effect. Can be used in conjunction with other abilities. This magic attacks can be modified by replacing the magic vials inside it. Um, speed, AoE, break damage, power. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that just gives me another ability to, to roll with, so... Quite like that. Alright, and this probably gets me through here, yes? Yes, indeedy! 
But yeah, that was one of the things I really liked about Ender Lilies too, is there there are just some immaculately designed backgrounds. Amelia Slab Primus presently shut. Monculus Research Log 1. Artificial life forms created through the infusion of magic. They are augmented by Milius Arcane Smiths and boast high physical capabilities and durability. Although they pose no danger to humans, spells that affect the consciousness are used to ensure homunculi remain true to their purpose. However, these methods require tuning from time to time. Okay, it's like the, um... It reminds me of some of the stuff in, like, Signalis. Um, which, without giving too much away, basically it's the idea that, like, any kind of artificial life would regularly need tuning so that they, you know, don't go... Don't have an existential crisis. Don't become, like, you know very violent towards humans for giving them lives, things like that. You know, the normal stuff with creating artificial life. Hello. Secrets? Secrets? No. Keep expecting all my secrets. I shudder to think of the inhumane experiments a monkey lie were subjected to beneath the surface. You remember anything at all? The fumes, they drove everyone mad. They hurt each other. You. I saw you in my memory. Are you... Lilac? Yes, I think so. There is undoubtedly a deeper connection here. Fret not, however. Your memories will resurface in time. In fact, it would appear we have all... We all have something we are struggling to recall. I do remember one thing, though. You wield a power capable of liberating the homunculi. Those with such powers, I believe they were called... They were known as attuners. You may be able to find more of your ilk by retracing the memories of homunculi. Yeah. Okay. Um. What was what was your what was your name? You you looked very not in a good spot <laughs> over there. Your expression sitting on there. You've you've been through a lot of shit. You have uh, some trauma to work through. Can I can I get um can I get this character with the flaming fist to um to a therapist because I think they need some therapy. Okay. Locked. Ah. Uh. Can hear the music a little bit in there. I always love the music of Ender Lilies. It's just so like it gives a very specific vibe, much like Hollow Knight. So this is the outside world, and that's the upper stratum. That's where the sorcerers, the founders of this nation, and the creators of Monkey Lie reside. I wish to go there so I may rid myself of these wretched dreams that haunt me. To that end, I will not permit you to perish. Steal yourself, Lilac. I understand. I don't remember it very well. Before I fell below the surface, there was someone who was desperate to save me. I think they were important to me. I want to know why they were crying. And I want to use my power to save as many homunculi as I can. All right, let's go be a cool attuner and save all the homunculi. All right, so how did this room look? So I can't get across there, obviously, not right now. Bye-bye. You're taken out pretty easily. I do remember one thing about Ender Lilies was God, they had a lot of jerkishly hidden secrets. Oh my God, is that a chainsaw? None of that, please. I will knock you on your ass. Eat that, nerd. And I guess there's nothing for me to really do there. I do almost feel like I want the music to be a little bit higher, actually. Um, let's just turn the game in general up a little bit. It's probably not going to sound much different after that um, in recording, just because I do audio mixing and things. So, But I just want to be able to hear the intricacies of the music a little bit more. Like I said, it's quite a pleasant soundtrack. At least Ender Lilies was, and this one seems to be more, more of the same, which is very high praise, because I love it. I forget the name of the person that actually makes the music. Say, what kind of homunculus is that? Looks so old. And who might you be? The Arcane Smith of the town up ahead. Well, Arcane Smith in training, I guess. Looking to get my hands on an awesome gizmo that'll be able to help the whole town. Wait, are you in a tuner? Like the one in town the other day. May I inquire where in town exactly? 
Um, I don't know. It was my partner that saw them. Partner? Homunculus with wings! Say, did you happen to see him on your way right here? Oh. Anyway, you look like a mess. Feel free to use anything here. Are you sure? There was an attuner who helped me one time. She asked me to help other attuners if I met them. She was the one that built the place and left all this stuff here. You know, you remind me of her, that attuner lady. Oh, there's a mantle here you should take. It looks like it'd be real handy for an attuner. Thank you, and I hope you find your friend. Say, if you see a homunculus with wings, could you help him out? If you can. Are you not going back to the city? It isn't safe out here, especially for one so small. I have to keep collecting junk! That's what it takes to survive in the lower stratum. Well then, I'll see you around! <laughs> oh, you're adorable. I like, uh, we can get a kind of a peek behind the veil at, uh, what was it, Renora here? Nona? Something like that? Looks like you have, like, a Jason mask. Like a hockey mask. There are indeed items here that may prove to be useful. She also mentioned a winged homunculus. Aerial jump! While airborne A, the rune inscribed on lilac shoes allow you to perform an aerial jump. We get double jump this early? Dodge- oh, and air dodge? Dodge attacks uh, by performing a nimble dash in the desired direction. The rune inscribed in the mantle allows the wearer to move into a swift breeze while even while airborne. Aerial jump and aerial dodge. I wonder if this is just here for now because this is the early access, but... This would be hidden way later in the full game. I'm not sure yet. By combining aerial jumps and aerial dodges, it's possible to create uh, across greater distances and reach previously inaccessible areas. Yes, of course. I do like my look now. But god, these are like... Upgrades in, in, an, in another Metroidvania would usually take you a little bit to get access to. The fact that we get them this early is kind of wild. So... You can change Lilac's attire at Respites. Okay. So that would have been... Let's see, records, relics... It, it showed it right there and I didn't pay attention. Dodge. Not that I want to switch back to the other outfit by any means. Um, here we go. Um... Oh, well, I thought it would tell me here. Nola was the name of that character, so... Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm definitely willing to, um, stick with my current look. There's... oh wait, no, that's allies. What was your name? Leto. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, he, um, seems like he was not having a good time down there. Alrighty. Up we go. Oh, you seem like you're not having a good time either, Skeleton. Welcome to the land of fumes, fueled by magic at your service. Glad I didn't attack you. You keep doing you, friends. Jump, aerial jump, aerial dodge. Yeah, so we can make it up there by doing that, but... Uh-huh. Ooh, there we go. Made it. Nothing up there. I okay. Here's here's Texas Chainsaw Massacre Bubba over here. Level three. Yay. Okay. There appears to be a spooky enemy over there that I am going to get to this way. Hey nerd. Did this have, uh, contact damage? I, I feel like I would have taken damage right there if it did. There we go. What do you got for me? Amula Fragment. Increases maximum HP by 5. A fragment of Magicite suspended by an Argentine vial. The higher the concentration of Magicite, the stronger the protective ward becomes. Yes. Uh, none of that, please. Hey there. Bye bye. Bing, bing, bing. Wow, you're very, very easy to stagger. Has anyone ever told you that? Has anyone ever looked at you and told you, Hey, hey friend, you're really, really easy to stagger. <laughs> if your friends are easy to stagger, tell them. It's an important thing for them to know. You know? What if they're a Metroid enemy one day? Uh, Metroid. <laughs> Metroidvania enemy one day. I mean, I guess they could be a Metroid enemy too, you know? Uh, alright. So, we have this door back here that's locked, but... Feels like most other places I've been, except for this one. 
Um, so yeah, let's just walk into the Old City Market, which appears to be our first town. Passage through the human settlement of Old City. Authorized. Beware, rampaging creatures prowling the outskirts of Old City pose a threat to human life. Neat, thank you. Alright, thank you. Yeah, people seem to be doing great. Is that dog okay? Hi, puppy? Whoa! Like, cyborg pupper? Goodness, I can hardly believe the lower stratum remains this populated. How is it that humans live on amidst the thick haze of fumes heavy with magic? Arcane instruments, Sal. Without them, we'd be goners. Name's Gordon. I'm the resident arcane smith around these derelict parts. Taking the kids in the tuner? Where are your friends? As it so happens, we are presently in search of other tuners, as well as a way to the upper stratum. Can't say I spotted any tuners in a while. You won't learn much about the upper stratum down here. What about a winged homunculus? Heard about Yolvan from Levy, did you? Yolvan used to keep us safe from the mutants, but that was in. I haven't seen him lately. There are unsavory rumors that he's been attacking folks and such. He might be over yonder down the road, but it ain't safe to get close, you hear? I got it. Search for the winged homunculus. Puppy! Look at cool cyborg puppy! Oh my god, that's so cool! I mean, it's sad at the same time, but... Hello. How are you? <laughs> Little birdie told me there's a monkey lie running wild outside the city, too. I wouldn't know, seeing as I ain't ever getting out of here. Ooh, what's down here? Hello. Can drop... Oh, okay. We probably want to search the rest of the screen before we go down there. Maybe in a tuner could... No, nah, never mind. I'm thinking of asking a kid I just met the years of catching up to me. Alright, bye-bye. And we can go down there. I just kind of want to explore a little bit of this screen before I move too far over that way. Metroidvanias have a habit of, like, a town having an entire area underneath it, like a dungeon. You there, have you seen any, anyone alive outside the city? We'd be long dead if it weren't for the arcane instruments warding off the fumes. Okay. Ah, uh, so yeah, they're warding off the fumes that way. Fumes seems like our main big problem here. Okay, well we want to go back to town now, because that's a new area. Hello. What do we got? A rest spot? Dear sis, happy birthday. You said you wanted a new pillow, so I tried to pluck some of Yolvan's feathers to make one. And he got kind of mad, so I'm going to ask Gramps to teach me how to make magical tools for you instead, from Levy. Oh. Oh. Uh, conversations with allies. You can talk to your allies at Respite. A notification will appear in the top right corner when a new conversation is available. Uh, precious names. I can tell you have something on your mind. Best come out with it. Considering we have a long journey ahead of us, it'd be nice to know your names. My name. You may refer to me however you please. Leto. Huh? My name is Leto. What about you? What kind of adult doesn't know their own name? Nola. Call me Nola. Is that actually your name? It's etched into my arm. This leads me to believe it is. I see. Oh, okay. Hi, t hi, you two. I know we're not in a great spot right now, but we, we got this crew. Let's maintain happiness. It's teeming with the monkey eye out there. You take care now. Times like these, you need to make sure to get plenty of rest. Don't overdo it. Why not take a break on that sofa over there? The stuffing is only slightly coming out. It's really not that bad. Alright. Let's go ahead and get over here then. I want to see what else is going on in the town before we leave it. A tuner. Not something you see often. Hi. I wonder when Le Levi and Yol Yolvan will come home. I didn't think I could survive when I fell down here, but the townspeople saved me. I got separated from my little sister, though. I wonder if she's up there. Okay. Little sister. Do we have, like, a quest log? 
Intel, I guess? No. Records? No. I don't think we have, like, a quest log of sorts. So I will have to remember, if I find someone's, like, sister... Oh, hey, you can break those things open for currency. Okay, well, that's something we clearly need an ability to get through. Ooh, another amulet fragment, though. Very, very worth coming over here. But yeah, this is something we probably need, like, a, like a helm splitter or a downward smash to get through. I've played enough Metroidvania to know your number, huh? Alright. It looks like the, the cash register's so glowy. I'm like, can I interact with it in any way? Doesn't seem so. Alright, let's sprint on out of here now that I kind of know where I'm going. Bye-bye, old-timer. Well, this is not disappointed so far. Since mutants everywhere. Remain alert. Okay. Ooh, they have a gun now. Ooh, that, no, that's not a gun. That is a crossbow. Well, they have a projectile weapon. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you. You're very, very similar to my, uh, my starting friend in the first one. I don't even remember what they were called. I wanted to say spirits or shades, but I don't think that was right. Okay, so... How does this work in this game? Okay, it does actually show the connection. Thank you. I've played too many Metroidvanias where it does not show the connection between these lines here. Um, I don't believe Last Faith did, and I've played a few other ones like this, but... I like knowing where, like, a specific door actually takes me on the map. It's very, very handy information when you're re-exploring. Get out of here, you. None of that. Give? Materials times 130. Materials are necessary for fabricating items at the craftery. Magicite metals and other such materials are necessary for crafting arcane instruments. Yet to find a, like, secret wall or anything around here. Can't help but notice. Oh, you kidding me. Can't believe that whiffed. Um, apparently not getting through there. Not right now. Huh. Can't get in there. I always thought the, um... The music in, um... Uh, in this reminds me a lot of, uh, like, near music, which I think is... Keiji Okabe? Um, I can't remember exactly the, uh, the name of the person that makes the music in this, but... People that have, uh, listened to the music from Nier probably know what I'm talking about. That, like, kind of... A lot of, a lot of vocals, and, uh... It's in another language, basically. Ow. Screw you. Hey, that's... Okay, you look like you're having a good time down there polishing your crossbow. Weren't ready for this, were you? Oh, okay, yeah, you were, actually. You were actually super ready for it. So my, my bad. <laughs> Ooh, hi. Shield character, huh? Ooh. Okay, you got a hit in on me. Went a little bit further with that attack than I thought you were going to. We're actually a little on heals now. Bye-bye. None of that. Bye. Also, bye. You want some too? I got enough for all of you. You look like the enemies that you get microphone from in, like, a Kirby game. Can't go without a drink. I'll have to have my fill before the old city folk find out. Tavern Bulletin Board. An increase in, re re in reports of homunculi turning mutant has come to our notice. As retrieving cores is no longer a feasible endeavor, we must ask that you maintain a safe distance. Additionally, while we still suffer a, deficient, uh, a deficit of attuners, do remain vigilant with reports. Frost Attuner Squad. Hello. Press with that a little one like yourself survived this long. This place isn't si safe either, though. How about having your first drink before you kick the bucket? <laughs> no. I don't wanna. Don't wanna. Don't want the alky hall. Alright, so... we're good. Uh, hi. Yeah, that... we have like a little bit more range on that than it kind of looks from first impressions. Like... It, it, the hitbox extends a little bit more than I would expect. Um, bye bye. Uh, probably don't want to land in 
the poo poo water? No, it's fine. I thought it would be poison, but no, the poo poo water's fine. You know, we're just getting some some E. coli and all those wonderful, wonderful things that you can get from poo poo water. <laughs> Good old shit water. Materials are necessary. Thank you. More materials. A whole lot of poison dorks down here. There's gonna be something hidden in that water, isn't there? I can't, like, dive, though. Right now, we just kind of swim on top of it. Yeah. So, we did have another path I could take, right? Yeah, we could go up instead of going down like I did. No secret walls yet. Frankly shocked. I must have missed some. They, they wouldn't have went this long without doing that to me. They wouldn't have. There might have, maybe it's some of the floors that you have to like press down A on to drop through. Those always get me. Maybe just maybe. But I'm noticing a distinct lack of them. Hello. Bye bye. Hello, would you like your death too? I'm here to deliver it. Okay, a little bit more range on you than we initially thought, but you're fine. Hello? There's an amulet fragment! More HP! Good, good. So, there wasn't anything down here. That's not a secret wall or anything. Hello? Up here? So, this is where... yeah. And then there's that. Which I'm imagining if I go through that, links up to that door over there. So, for now... I'm gonna go here. Because, yeah, doesn't it look like that would... If I go into that leftmost door, it would go up. It seems like maybe... Maybe the gray means, like, you haven't went out all of the exits in that room. It could mean you've got, like, 100% of items in the room, but I can't confirm nor deny that at this particular point. Ow, you little shit! Okay. I actually might be wasting some of those heals. I might have been able to take a little bit more damage, but the vignetting has me spooked. When I get the red vignetting, it's uh, a little spooky. Anything? Locked. Okay. Hello. None of that, please. You too. God, this sword is so good. Hello. And bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Here we go. Okay, so... Ooh, wait, there's like a purple thing over here? It's gonna bother me so bad not knowing this. Ooh, I actually have, um... The artist on my Spotify. I could find what their name is pretty easily, actually. Let's see, because they're on one of my playlists. Sanguinary Raven. Increases aerial attack damage by 10%. Thank you. Arcane instrument imparted to Yolvan by his friend Levy. Crafted under the guidance of Master Arcane Smith Gordon. A most precious gift. That is very good. I wonder if that specifically means, like, spirits, or, or homunculi in this case, that can only be activated in the air, or if I just do jump attacks, if that counts. Because if it just does the, if that's just 10% increase here, most of my damage is in the air anyway, I feel. Okay, we can find out really, really quickly what the name of this artist was. Um... Me... Millie. Millie is the name. M-I-L-I. -I. Yeah. And then, of course, Binary Haze. Um, some of it as well, because they're the developers of the this uh, series, so... Props for making very, very cool games. I remember when I initially played Ender Lilies, um... The game was coming out of early access, so I was like, eh, nobody's gonna care, you know, if I do a playthrough, but... It actually performed quite well. Uh, and I'm very, very happy I decided to play it, because... Phenomenal. The winged homunculus might be nearby. Stay on your toes. Okay. It did say that you were fighting people too, so I imagine you're gonna be my next boss fight. Customize what relics Lilac and the Homunculi equip. Relics can offer various effects when utilized. Multiple relics can be equipped within the slot limits, so... I do love me some relics! Okay, and that does cost two slots specifically. 
When I saw slots, zero out of two, I was thinking it meant like these squares. Like I can only use two of those squares right now and maybe we expand them, but no, it's more so saying some things have different costs. Like that's only taking up one square, but it still costs two slots. It's like, I, I think of like in Hollow Knight, the um, charms that require like more notches, basically. I don't remember the correct terminology, but cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I think that's the only thing I wanted to equip. I didn't really get anything else. My homunculi is all good to go. I think we are ready. And which way do I want to go? Because there's two different directions. Um, that's just a shortcut to get me back over here, isn't it? Hi. You didn't rev up that chainsaw fast enough. Yeah, that just gets me back over here. Okay, so that's just that door open, so I kind of have like a faster way to travel over here. Really didn't need to rest, but it is fine. Hello. Oh, more beautiful backgrounds. Destroyed clock tower with the crows slash ravens perched on it. Yolvan? That's the winged homunculus Levy mentioned. I swore. I swore to protect them. Ooh. Okay, that's a gun. That is a gun. Ow. Okay. You're gonna be a little bit more of a pain, I can see. Uh, whoop. Yeah, you're gonna have a higher chance of actually getting me here. Uh-huh. Still not terrible, but you probably have, like, a harder form. Ow, you clipped me with that. Still clipped you? Whoop, none of that. I like getting that burn down on you, though. That is quite nice. We love a good dot, you know? Okay, I think I might have you. I'm gonna eat my words in just a second because I said that, but... Your... your patterns are not too rude. I've fought many a very, very, very difficult intro boss fight in uh, Metroidvanias, and you were not one of them. Uh-oh. I spoke too soon! Remember, remember when I spoke too soon? Remember when I spoke too soon? I talked my shit, and now I'm paying for it. I'll remember when I spoke... Talk too soon. Whoop. Okay. Get that big damage in, get that big damage in. Okay. I talked my shit. I talked so much of my shit. And look at me. Oh, I missed. Ooh, got clipped. Should I risk it? <sighs> I think it's two spooks. I think it's two spooks to risk. Okay, I think we got it. There was no point in risking that. I might have been able to take, like, one more hit, but I didn't want to risk it, just in case I got clipped. Okay, you surprised me with the second phase. You got me. <laughs> That's right, I'm... The fumes made me lose myself. That's okay, friend, you're gonna come join me. Milius test subject. Did he run away from the central stratum? There's a tumor near his wings. I can remove it. I can't remove it. You want to thank someone, she's the one who found you. Please protect those two sisters. Yo, you won't leave me, will you? Yeah, it's a promise. Oh. So Ruby, I believe, is the character who's the apprentice blacksmith's sister. Because there was a note about, yeah, I'm going to go learn how to make some stuff. I almost broke another promise. You have my debt. My thanks. I'm in your debt. 
I heard from Levy. She asked us to help. I thought she needed me, but I suppose it was the other way around. Fortunately, I still can't remember much from after I lost consciousness. If you're looking for other attuners, though, I check in the sealed Magisite mine. Let's go see Gordon at Old City Market. I'm sure he'd be willing to help. Yolvan, yay! Are you gonna be like my character that had throwing daggers in the first one? Repeat ability. Yolvan the Black-Winged Huntsman. An experimental homunculus that escaped to Old City from the biological research facility in the Central Stratum. Experiments involving animal fusion were conducted on Yolvan by a renowned homunculus researcher who fled a neighboring country that is no more. So yeah, you're like a chimera, basically. Yolvan's ability allows him to attack continuously while following Lilac. He can move freely while the ability is active. So this is kind of like the throwing knife person I was talking about. Except I don't know if you could move while doing that before. I can't quite remember. Useful for keeping up long-range pressure, this ability's high mobility is offset by its modest power. Use it in tandem with Nola's close-range attacks for maximum effectiveness. Okay, so I definitely want to equip you. Report back to Gordon is what we need to do. Um, but yeah, we obviously can't do that right now. So let's get up here and see where we are going. Homunculus finally did succumb to the madness. Can never trust these things. I'm sorry. You know, I've helped. I've helped calm calm them down. It's fine. Orn Sorcerer's memo. If we fail to reach the land of origins, the magic of this nation will eventually run dry, or worse, be consumed by the curse of the blight. The theory that life can be remade or even created using magic has been successfully put to the test. It's now our only hope. Hmm. Yeah, okay, interesting. Yeah, the idea that you're creating this life to kind of preserve your your legacy. Very similar to some other things I've played, obviously not going to say anything because, you know, maybe people haven't played those things, but... Hello. Bang, bang. But yeah, like, humanity needing to basically survive a plague and being like, oh, we're going to keep ourselves alive by basically creating AI robotic data versions of ourselves effectively. Um, obviously not exactly what's going on here, but a, a similar kind of concept, uh, concept and has similar themes. All right, so that is done. I feel like, can I pin stuff? Yeah, probably not in early access, huh? If I could, I would totally pin that and be like, there's probably something up there. Probably need a wall jump to do it. If I can't get up this wall, because this wall's kind of staggered, you see, then you need to wall jump up this wall and then do like a, like a, you know, a horizontal dash, shine spark, what, what, what have you, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this didn't actually lead where I was talking about, so we do need to go into this room. So let's head back over there. Oh, hi. Bye bye. Um. I will equip Yolvan when we get back. Ow, you little... Out of here. So, we want to get to this room. Give me a one. Oh, wow, you did totally block that. You're annoying. Hi. Did you just leave the screen? Oh, okay, no, you're still there. Okay, screw you, I'm out of here. If you're gonna do that, nah. I'm not, I'm not playing chicken with you at the end of the screen. That's not happening. Ooh, can I even make that? I might not be able to go up there right now. Huh. Ooh, maybe... Maybe... I don't know if that will even be enough. So let's jump, jump, attack. Then dash? Yes, we can. Yeah, kind of uh, extend our dash by attacking. Cool, cool, cool. Glad that still works. Materials, yay. All right, and that was everything that was in here. And yeah, once I once I picked that up, the room got cleared. Neat. I guess, I guess uh, now that I think about it, I guess Indra Lilies had that too, didn't it? It had the same kind of, it'll let you know when um, the room is cleared thing. Once again, has been a bit, and my memory's shit at the best of times, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're almost back over there. 
Just gonna run past the rest of these enemies. I don't feel the need to take them all out. We are good. Alright, I can rest. I'm gonna put on Yolvan. And possibly talk? Yes, those who cannot be saved. I hope I didn't miss one earlier. Yatuner, living in Old City, mentioned it before. The blighted fumes from the lower stratum seeped into the souls, the cores of countless mutants. Even the Yatuners are unable to get near them. Countless homunculi turned mutants roam the land of fumes. I doubt we'll be able to save them all. Oh, but I want to save them all. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and put you on. So... Encore. Fires a stream of magical bullets. The bullets track enemies automatically, leaving one to freely move while this ability is in effect. Double-barreled pistol, fashioned by the Milius family. It shall never run out of bullets as long as magic courses through him. Well, I mean, that'll be useful for aerial enemies. Do I really want that on B, though? I feel like I want... Because... Holding down B, and then attacking with X as well, is... Kind of awkward. So, I think I want it on RB, actually. That makes more sense to me, because I can hold down RB continuously while attacking, like so. I guess, um, you do disappear when I use you. So I can't actually attack with both of them in tandem like I can the other character, but still. I still like it more on RB, because it's a gun, so it makes more sense to be on RB for me. I'll be. You brought Yolvin back. You're a wee little thing, but one hell of an attuner. Yeah, my thanks. Love you'll be downright giddy. Here, I suppose you should have this. Lower stratum key. A key that unlocks the passage leading to the Magislite Mine and Tethered Steeple. Hazardous restricted zone with the lower stratum where residents of lower and central stratums are not permitted passage. What is it? Magicite mine, tethered steeple. This key will get you to those closed off, bone chilling places. And there's that, and that there's my homunculus. Man's best friend. Name's Hadi. Ah, like Hadi and Skull. From Norse mythology, I believe. Used to be the central stratum before coming here. This is what happened, and I became a wanted man. But this and that happened, and I became a wanted man. Hadi saved my skin back home, about as reliable as they come. So cute. Rather you be out seeing the world than wasting away with an old fool like me, pup. What do you say, kid? You'd be doing us both a favor. Yes. Yes. Puppy. D dog. Oh, that's exciting. Come on, puppy. Oh. Okay. Okay. I, I don't care what stats say. I don't care what optimization says. I don't care what speedrunners say. Best homunculus has been obtained. Alright. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get that clear. Fast travel? Let's back to open the menu and select a respite from the mat screen. Mount Hati to travel instantaneously to respites you have previously visited. I expected you would be combat. Not fast travel. You may travel instantaneously to respites you have previously visited by riding Hati. Open the map and select respite. Go to the one you wish to visit. One more thing. Whenever you got materials, stop by this here craftery. An arcane smith, after all, figure I could do you some good. Break boxes and mine mineral deposits that you come across to scavenge materials. These can be used to fabricate items at crafteries. In addition to the one manned by Gordon, other such shops can be found around the Land of Fumes as well. In time, you may also be able to find ways to expand your in their inventory. Okay. Craftery. So, magic vial increases equipment slots by one. That is good, but I don't have anything to put there yet. I guess that's what these are for. A device that facilitates the use of arcane instruments. Simpler magic uses runes, while complex magic uses vials. Increases base abilities, mainly defense. Up to two bangles can be equipped at a time. A bracelet of rather poor quality found in Old City. Commonly worn by the city's inhabitants for protection against the magical infestation emanating from the underground. Increases base abilities, mainly defense. Up to two of Bengals can be equipped. 
Bracelet crafted in the land of fumes. Inscribed with runes, they were discarded in droves in the lower stratum when they lost their powers. Alright, I want this, I want this, and I want this! Okay, so, uh... Yeah, they have 14 of those? How many things can I equip? Equipment? Wait, was it, was it, was it, uh, Collection? Power up. Increases equipment slots by one. Where, though? Huh. Equipment can only be changed at respites. Huh. I thought... Increases equipment... And there's 14 of them. How are 14 slots gonna fit on this page? What? That feels wild to me. Like... It says equipment, right? <laughs> equipment slots. It does indeed say that, and this is equipment. <laughs> huh, maybe it, maybe it happens when I get to a uh, safe spot? Maybe. Um, so, if we go to the map... So you're saying I can fast travel now. Um, we might be able to get to that. Lower stratum key. I can get there, and then... That's a tumor, so I can't get in there yet. But I can get over here. Yes. So we have two different ways we can go. Um, this one is a tumor. I can't open that. Uh, this might be a reason to fast travel back to where we started, but I think I'm just gonna go over here. And we'll check this place out. I love Papa. Papa's great. Alright. You can change Lilac's equipment at Respite. Equipable items can help improve your base abilities by increasing defense and healing potential. Uh, potential. Alright. Okay, so no, it's not a... Huh. I must be misunderstanding something about that at the moment? Hmm. Interesting. Like, I don't, I don't have to use it, because I never had to use the amulet fragments. They just kind of happen. Huh. Monkey yeah, no, nothing going on here. And Hati is not a um, homunculi that I can actually equip. That's odd. Huh. Oh, here! Okay, that was confusing. It says equipment slots, so I was looking here, and the idea that you could equip like 60 bangles was crazy to me. Obviously a little bit of hyperbole there, but it's talking about relics. <laughs> Okay, it should totally say relic slots. That's something they're they're totally gonna fix because yeah, that was confusing at first. Cause it definitely says equipment. But they will fix that, I'm sure. The game just released, so um I'm also pretty sure it has to go through a translation, so these things are going to happen, of course, because translating is a lot of work and the people who do it are simply amazing. Alright, hello. Let's just uh go ahead and get through here. Oh, I do have to choose the direction, though. If I turn around, you don't, like, auto-home, even if I'm facing the other way. You kind of home as long as I'm facing them, but if I'm not facing them, it's a little bit more problematic. I thought I would just be able to kind of turn and dodge, and you would still do your thing, but... Oh my god, I somehow managed to get hit by that. That was pretty amazing. Bravo, me. You threaded the needle on that masterfully. Alright. In we go. And judging by we've been playing the game for an hour, I wouldn't be surprised if these two areas are kind of all that's in the game at the moment. There might be a little bit more, but uh, like I said, it seems like reviews were saying, yeah, like it's about two to four hours, depending. And I probably lean a little bit more on the longer side, since I do kind of read everything and all that. As long as the Magisite yet glitters, toil as though the future, very future depends upon it. For it is your in, for it is your hands that lay the foundation of the, for the Milius family. Captain of Magisite Mining Team number one. Okay. Yeah, I know. Work for, work for the Milius family. Yay. Mine your heart out for us. Magisite mine. The fumes here are denser than I expected. It's fine. I'm clearly having an okay time with it. Skeleton in the background? Okay, this is a door. I can't get by that. 
I do hope this has pins. Oh my goodness. Cool it, friend. A pickaxe. God, you remind me of the pickaxe wielding enemies in like Demon Souls. There we go. And boom. There you go. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, these mines go pretty far. Whoa! The hell is this? Ooh, that breaks their stagger meter pretty well, actually. That's quite good. It is very, very good for staggering. Helix Crystal. Recover 3% of your HP each time an enemy is defeated. Mutated item forged by the fusion of decaying core and magicite. When the will of resurrection flickering within the soul residue inside a decaying core is strong enough, it can trigger a mutation, causing the magicite to transform. Cool. I am out of here. Run, 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 run. Okay, so... Ooh. Okay, should have dodged there. I, I looked at my map stupidly. Um, should not have done that. Bye bye. I suppose if you could just, you know, shoot the correct direction without me actually having to aim you, you would be kind of busted, I'm gonna be honest. So, uh, makes sense why they chose not to do that. Uh, okay, there was clearly stuff over here, but it looks like both of these areas kind of lead to the same zone. It does also say I have everything in this area. I mean, obviously it might still have like an enemy down here, yeah. Hello. Wow, you get obliterated. You seemed really spooky, but not that bad, actually. Okay. And then, yeah, nothing over here. Oh. Ooh, okay, this is my, this is my respite. Nice. So I can teleport to these without resting at them, right? Yes, yes I can. Because I don't want these enemies to respawn. I might miss that heal, but, um... Oh, hi. Uh, none of that, please. What a wild attack. You just run at me with a drill. And you're a miner, so I don't know what else you would do, really. But, but yeah, just in case I loot back around up here, I don't want all these enemies to respawn, so... Kinda just going to ignore that... ...spot for a moment. See if I can actually make it back over there now. Ooh, that might that might not be an area. That might have been a like an optional area. That I've just uh Okay. I missed my opportunity to grab that item. Luckily it did mark it on the map. I actually think that's, uh, lore? I think that's what the little purple icon usually is. Lore. It might be items, too, but I've just noticed I picked up a lot of lore from it. There you go. God, this- this combination of, uh... of homunculi that I have already... is just feeling super, super strong. It's kind of wild. Okay, now that was pretty wild. Yeah, we're gonna need you to cool it there. Alright. Take it easy, friend. My goodness. Yeah, god, if you want to stagger something, use the gun. Oh my god. Is that a Molotov? No, I think that was dynamite. Okay. Does that mark on the map? Yes, it does. Thank you. Okay, so let's see if, uh... Maybe I can do something? Over this way. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the people on my channel that like Metroidvanias like this. I know at least one person asked about this, and I might have at the time said, eh, I usually don't play early access things or something like that, but... I don't know, I was feeling it. It's always part of it, too, is, you know, am I going to have enough time? And there's not a good way to know that beforehand, especially to do this wild and crazy thing that I'm currently doing, which is just play through the entire game in one sitting. Um, so... But, hopefully people enjoy this. I do love my Metroidvanias. So... Wee! Ow! Good. Okay. Whoop! Oh, barely made it. Okay. 
There we are. An amulet fragment. Okay, so it can be items or lore. It's just, that's just marking items in general. Good to know. Hello. There we are. None of that, please. Can I stand on the bucket? Ow! No, I can't. Well, especially not with this asshole chilling up here. My goodness. So rude! Quit it. Oh, I'm running out of heals now. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Get up there. Slashy, slashy. Okay, bad aim there, but, um... You tried. Ooh, there's a secret wall. Okay, I did see that one. Hi. None of this, please. Gonna have to ask you to be vanquished. Whoop. Ow, still got hit. I'm gonna be missing that heal that I skipped out on, aren't I? Oh, well, no, I... I oh, I thought, I thought it was out. Never mind. So that was actually hinted at because we could we could see this from the previous area. Cool. And I can take the elevator back up if I want to go to that upper area, but let's see what's at the lower part first. Okay, so what does this have? I just want to make sure it's not like a dead end. Oh wow. Uh this is not a swift elevator. So how are everybody doing? Good? I hope so. I'm having a pretty good time with this. Ow! I'm having a pretty good time with this. It's quite it's quite great so far. Sparklies? Ah, uh, this is to let me know that there's just bites. <gasps> Clockwork Owl! I haven't seen you before. I got, uh, worked over by a mutant. I had hoped you might know something of Lilac's past, but it appears not. Chief Attuner might know. I'd like you to be alive, you know. Unless my buddies didn't make it. If I may, I have another query. Would you happen to know of a means to reach the upper stratum? I'm gonna go there too, are you? It's true, we won't last in the lower stratum much longer. Anyway, you need to get to central stratum first. You'll have to activate the Grand Lift in Old City. Grand Lift in Old City? Us Satuners are looking for a way to activate it. You wanna give us a hand, I'll lend you my homunculus. Are you sure? I made it this far, I'll take my chances. Owl? Owl friend, thank you so much. Oh, it's adorable. For those that don't know, I love owls. They're like, probably my favorite animal, so. I just love them so, so much. Aerial Scout Moonin, a homunculus scout imparted by the attuner Heath. Once upon a time, sorcerers would employ owl familiars as messengers. With downfall of the Frost family, however, they have been replaced with homunculi. Moonin's auto ability. Upon being summoned, Moonin will follow Lilac and attack enemies that are within range of her own volition. While she doesn't offer the strongest means of offense, Moonin can be summoned and left to her own devices, making her an invaluable ally for less experienced attuners. That is quite nice. Gotta head to town and get this arcane instrument fixed. I'll leave you to it. Bye-bye. Okay, well thanks for the friend. That is terribly exciting, yes. Beautiful. Relics. So, I did get this. No free slots, that's right. Increase aerial damage or restore HP each time an enemy is defeated. HP is less of an issue right now, so I think I do want to prioritize damage. Um, enhance, still can't do any of that. But uh, let us equip you. So you're just on B, and now you're just active. I don't even have to worry about telling you what to do or any of that jazz. So is this gonna loop around to that other area? Maybe. I guess this area kind of looked like it could be a dead end down here. Are you gonna check this out? I'm so indecisive in Metroidvanias. And just any game like this in general. I'm always like, which way's progress? Ow, I thought you were gonna get staggered faster than that. Ooh. 
Thank you. Oh, you only have to hit it once. Okay, it's not like Geo. Huh. Stop that, you little jerk. Level up seven. More of you, huh? Is that a place up there? I feel like it might be you. Doesn't that look like it's something? Like I could jump through and climb up there? It looks like it could be. Uh, so is this room just like a dead end with stuff in it? Because that's really what I was hoping and it seems like yes it is. Stain Choker. Reduces enemy melee damage by 10%. Proof of occupation worn by the homunculi working in the Magicite Mine. Fumes pervade much of the Forbidden Zone and even homunculi with a greater resistance to magic are not impervious to it. I wonder if we're going to enter an area where... Ah, hole. You little shit. Oh my god. You're so annoying. Get out of here. Yeah, eat that. Jackass. Oh my god, I hate them. I hate them. I do. I truly do. I accidentally even pressed this to deactivate you. Which I did not want to do. Alright. There we go. That thing, like, comboed me. Got hit multiple times. There you go. Yeah, eat that, nerds. Oh, God. Ah! There we go. We're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. We're totally fine. Okay. So that is everything in here, I think. Uh, what am I doing? Just, uh, teleport back. It's free. Not even a consumable or anything. So, can I put that new relic on? It requires two. Can I get any ones? Please? Strong-willed youth. I might have missed this earlier. Flavia isn't in town. She must have gone outside on her own again. Perhaps she's still looking for her partner. Keep an eye on her when she would go out to collect junk, but now she's sneaking off on her own. Cinnamon I can somewhat relate to by myself. Myself. There's another just like her in front of you. Oh, they're talking about me. Uh, so... I would like... to get out of the Magicite mine, actually, since you mentioned that. Levy was out here, right? So... let's actually go out there... and just see real quick... if, um... Levy is, Levy is still out there and I can return you. That might have been a, a reminder to, you know take you back to Levy and be like, Hey, Levy, I found your thing. Because I admittedly totally forgot about it. Um. Yeah, no. I guess this is where I teleported when I was coming back over here. Or did I teleport there? No, that's the broken machine, so no, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't go that way. So, yeah, I guess I teleported over here to start with. So yeah, she wasn't, she wasn't there then. So yeah, she must be out somewhere. I still haven't found, they said the, the, the character that was mentioning their sister was above, so maybe over there. Um, alright, I think we're gonna head over here. And I can try to get that item I missed again. And also just explore the rest of this room. Basically. So let's go check out what you're all about. Um, bang. Anything else? Alright, so what else was going on in the rest of this room? Because there was this. I could have stayed right here and went this way. But there's also that stuff down there. I can activate that. So I think I want to try and get you. What are you? Materials. I will take it. Um, none of that, please. So what was down? Whoop. What was down here? 
you don't mind me asking. So that calls the elevator down. Oh, God, they always shock me with just how far they jump. Jeez. Ah, it's a tumor. Okay. Whoop. Ow. You jerk. Okay. That's taken care of. Can I land on this box? I sure can. And that gets me up here, which gets me up here. Which gets me up here. And I get an amulet fragment out of the deal. Okay, and then yeah, obviously there's an item still hiding out over there. But... Now that I've done this, I actually want to teleport back to you. Again. And I want to go up here and take this left path down. Um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I gotta reactivate my owl. It's been deactivated. Sorry, owl. I must keep accidentally hitting B, or it deactivates when I, like, rest and I have to reactivate it. Ow. That was my fault. There. Bum, bum, bum. I always think I can just, like, kind of sidestep that without having to dash, but that character gets some distance off that lunge. My god. Okay, so this does seem like it was possibly a dead end, maybe? What are you mut mutants playing at now? Why well, help us now after everything you put us through? Wall with etched writing. There's something wrong in the minds. It's as if everyone has gone mad. They dig for magicide as if their very lives depended upon it. Is it because of the fumes? Maybe I've gone crazy too. Maybe I always was. Huh. I saw one of these lights earlier. Ah, or one of those flowers rather. Okay, that gives me back a charge. That's neat. That is very neat. Okay, cool. So that's what those do. Because, yeah, I, th I saw one earlier, and then I remembered saying, I was like, oh, uh, I didn't know I had this much, this many heals left, so maybe I hit that flower in combat, and uh, it gave me a charge back. Now that I know what those do, that seems like it would make sense. Oh, you're blocking with that? None of that, please. Ow. Yeah, it does deactivate my owl. Listen here, you little shitheads. I'm about tired of you with your dynamite. Come here. There we go. God, there's so many of them. They're a plague. All these dynamite throwers. Good. Can I, uh... There we go. Okay, that appears to be everything on this side. And I can go this way to connect back over there. I do wonder if this room over here is a dead end. Maybe I should check it. Because that clearly leads to, like, a... Not a boss, per se, but maybe, like, a difficult enemy. Okay, it's a... Yep, it's a dead end. So can't go that way, so we do need to go this way. Which is good. Yes, yes. We're at an hour and a half, so we're approaching the lower end of how long people said this would take uh, to beat. So, as expected, it seems like I'm a little bit longer. My playthroughs take a little bit longer, which makes sense, like I said. Go away. No, none of that. I thought I was hitting you there. Okay, I was a little. I was trying to cheese it a little bit. Okay. Ooh, those things are tanky. Okay, I mean, once we get the sword on it, it's not so bad, but... There's two of them sitting over here. It's very, very obnoxious. Yeah, I mean, just keep your distance and spray. Ooh. Okay. Thought you were gonna hit me with that. We're good? We are good! And I've marked a tumor. So yeah, if I get a tumor in this- or, I get, if I get a tumor, I hope not. If I get the ability that destroys the tumors, 
in this early access. I might not go back and get all of those because once again, I'm gonna have to redo all of this when the game releases anyway, but we'll see. I mean, I guess I wouldn't have to if I wanted to just be like, oh, this is the first part of the playthrough and then when the full game comes out, I go back to that, but it might be a better call just to replay things. Might be a better call just to replay things. Okay, so this is not going to work right now. I mean, maybe even this character is the one that gives me this ability, whatever it is. Okay. Uh, Captain of Magislite Mining Team 1. Okay. Hello. Ooh. Okay, get out of there. Uh huh. That's like a shotgun blast. Ow. That one clips me. Gotta be careful. Uh huh. Gotcha. Out of there. Okay, that's the dynamite. As long as I keep my distance, we're pretty safe from that. That attacks the one that keeps screwing me up. Uh huh. I just need to dodge through them now. Don't know why I'm not doing that. It seems like we got you. Okay, so... Yeah, just dodge if you shoot a second. Louie? Gotcha! Yeah, as long as you keep your distance, there's only one attack you really have that can even hurt me. Bye-bye! You can join me. Is it just a dynamite throw? It might just be a dynamite throw. What have I done? We're prohibited from harming humans, and yet... What am I to do now? There's no more excavating to be done. No, do not let it concern you. Please accept this as a token of apology. Experimental amplifier, component for unlocking your enhancing abilities! A device fit into the armaments of homunculi. It is capable of augmenting arcane instruments and can be used to amplify a homunculus's magic. Work, work. I thought you were going to join me for a second. I will be honest. Uh, give me flower, please. So I could go all the way back over there, but we are not going to be doing that. Instead... What do I want to do, actually? Because I can't go that way. I can't get up there right now. Because we need the ability to get through that door. Um, I can't go down there. So, and I can't go down there, either. Because I can't destroy the tumors yet. So since I can't get up there, because that's like a sloped path, I'll slide down it. I imagine you get up there by getting access to this door. But I don't have what I need to unlock that. So yeah, I'm thinking we just have to leave now. Because, yeah, I don't have the abilities that destroys the tumors and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, I've been sitting here being like, oh, is that what it means on the map? It says incomplete, complete area right there. If I had actually looked at the legend. So that is totally what it means, yeah. Area change. Interesting. That's neat. It'll actually mark that as well. Tumor, breakable wall, magic door, door, switch, respite, current location. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's uh, go over here and get to the new area, I suppose. The other new area. Uh, I could go back and grab some uh, relic slots, though, which I think I will do. Okay, so that seems like it might be everything that was there that I could do for the moment. Uh, yes, please. Now I can equip, uh, equip two of the thingies. Which is very, very exciting news. You can enhance and strengthen your allies' abilities at respites. Enhance abilities by using ability components. You can also do this. So, increase ammo from one to two rounds. Hmm, okay. 
Increases rate of fire on barrage shot seems quite good. Increase the speed and number of combo attacks from 3 to 4. This is my main damage dealer, so that is quite tempting. Increases the number of attacks, makes attacks more powerful. I feel like if I'm going to increase one of them, it's got to be these two. And increasing your break damage, I feel, would be phenomenal, so... Um... Oh, but yeah, this is the only one I can do. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm looking at this. I thought it would I thought it would go in order, like one, two, three, and there was three upgrades, but no. I see now it's three separate nodes and they have kind of like a skill tree and you need different things for each of them. So all I can do is lacerate. Fire a spinning blade that cuts through enemies, ricocheting off any terrain it encounters. One may move freely while this ability is active. A pair of small pistols, yeah. And it ricochets too, and then glacial fist instead of blazing fist. The user leaps forward, dealing a blow with a prosthetic arm, inflicting the freeze status effect. Can be used in conjunction with other abilities. Hmm. It does cut through enemies. It seems like it has a lower fire rate though, and it doesn't do any more damage. Or well, no, it does. It does more break damage, is obviously much slower, has greater AoE and power. This has the same power, same break damage, lower speed and lower AoE, but it freezes. My question is, does this work on bosses? Because if it does, that changes things a lot. Um, I think I'm going to get this one because it's fun. It seems fun to me. So... Insufficient components. So, do I have to select which one I want? I do. So, we get one or the other. Basically. Oh, and I can put... Wait, is that what that was saying? Okay, no, you can... I was wondering, I was like, is it telling me I can put both Blazing and Glacial Fist down? But no, that's not the case. Okay. So, what's Glacial Fist look like? Like that. I mean, we saw it in the preview, but... It also recharges faster, which is kind of nice, so... All right, I am back. The key to being able to do something like this is to take breaks if you need it. And I did need more water, so uh, let's go ahead and get up here to Clock Tower Plaza. And hopefully this is where I get the ability to uh, get rid of the tumors that are all over the map around here. So here's open. Boom. There's my level 9. I wonder what the max level is for early access. Like, if you wanted to, I wonder if there's, like, <laughs> people that have, like, grinded up to... Well, probably not people that have grinded up that hard yet, but I wonder if you can grind up to, like, ridiculous levels in the demo. If it exists, people will do it. <laughs> so... I have to imagine if they don't have a limit on level ups, someone is going to reach max level. I say demo, but no, this is early access. Uh, so that appears to be an elevator that I cannot take. Hopefully I'm not missing something there, but hello. Ooh, okay, yeah, the range on that is something we're going to have to watch. Because the previous one was just a horizontal attack. It was, you know, kind of hard to miss unless you just weren't close enough. But this, you know, I gotta aim it a little bit more. None of that, please. Don't want any of what you're offering. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything up there. Well, there, there's probably something up there. One of the things I really, really liked about Ender Lilies was how much it encouraged you to use like uh, interesting enemies do take fall damage. I thought I, I think I noticed that earlier. An enemy died when I knocked him off something. But uh, something I really really liked about Ender Lilies, and this seems to be doing as well, is um, using your attacks in like mobility too. Like there were some characters that had like a dashing attack, and you could use that to get extra horizontal distance when doing some things, which I thought was a fun way to handle stuff. So, anything? I mean, do I want to go this way? I imagine this was the harder path to get access to. 
Yeah, there we go. And it's an amulet fragment. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Go away. None of that. Please. There we go. Whoop. Need to be a little bit more swifty with my dodges. We're sleeping on a few of these dodges. The game hasn't super challenged me yet, so I've kind of uh, been given the ability to just play badly. But we are still early on, obviously, so there is time. Uh, so that leads somewhere, but where does this lead? Because there were there was stuff below this room, so. Wait, why is it saying I didn't get everything in that room? Uh-oh. There might be some stuff in there, unless it's just talking about this, if these are considered the same room. Broken warning sign. Warning, entry prohibited. Hazardous zone ahead occupied by homunculi who have declared themselves enemies of Milius. Risk of mutants. Milius homunculi defense squad. Okay, that was it. They're both considered the same room. Cool. I was thinking for a second that there was like a hidden wall or something that I missed there. Okay. Big area. Wow, rest in peace you, friend. Kablamma! Ooh, that big, did big damage too. I mean, yeah, I don't get uh, access to the dot anymore, but that's still quite strong. Ooh, you blocked it. Cheeky. Ow, you did get me there. Ow. Go away, you. I don't have time to fight you, you slug. Oh yeah, I reactivate my owl. It is unfortunate I have to reactivate them each time we come out because I'm definitely forgetting to do that constantly. <sighs> Gonna be bad at remembering to do that. Okay. Oh. You look like a sick badass. Is this floor gonna break when I walk over here? Is that what is about to happen? No, okay, I can't just walk down there. There's also a character to talk to. Where's my brother? I don't know, is your brother Alphonse Elric over here? Older, old upper stratum guard. Okay, we got shockwaves. Uh huh. There we go. Okay, you do not get frozen. It makes sense that uh, bosses do not. Okay, we can cheese you pretty, pretty easily, friend. Just uh, abuse the absolute hell out of our dashes. That's all we gotta do to you. Yeah, you're a little bit too slow. Just a wee bit too slow. And our dash is too good. It has, you know, basically no cooldown, so. Bye-bye. Let's find out what you got to say. Brr. The last thing I remember is being in the central stratum. Well, thank goodness, you've come to your senses. Miss. I'm afraid I cannot fulfill my role as your protector in my current state. But at the very least, I can escort you back to the city. Young Attuner, you have allowed me to carry out my final duty with honor. You have my gratitude. Unidentified Transformer! Opponents used to make Nola more powerful! Yay, that's what we want. Magic Transformer just developed in secret by the Milius family and never made available to the public. R. It is required to facilitate the transformation mechanism of Nola's old weapon. Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay, and there's uh, obviously a lot more stuff to do over here as well. 
So we'll go check this out. That that was not a crazy boss. Like I said, that one was very easily cheesed by just uh, dodging like a mad lad. Get right up in their face. It's always funny to me that like, you know, like one of the best strategies for fighting something in like, you know, like a Souls game, for example, is to just get as much in its face as you possibly can. Because as long as you know the timings on the attacks, you can just dodge right through their attacks, just iframe right through it. And then you're in the perfect position to counterattack because you're right in front of them. Learning that was one of the things that really improved my ability to play Souls likes in general, is just like, yeah, don't move away from them, don't back up unless you like absolutely need to heal. Um, because yeah, and sometimes even healing close to them I find is good against some of the larger bosses and stuff. Did we get a parry at some point? I don't remember in this game, because they have like a red shine on their um, thing. So that really feels like a parry timing. Hello. Found you. Crimson Ribbon reduces fire damage by 30% and nullifies the blaze status effect that reduces HP over time. A luxurious ribbon unbefitting the lower stratum, worn by residents of the upper stratum. The jewel of the ribbon offers protection from flames. I mean, anything that just gives you immunity to a status ailment is always good. Also, I believe... I never equipped my second relic. That one only costs one, though, but it's fine. I mean, I'm not exactly having trouble right now, but yeah, I definitely forgot to equip my second relic after getting that upgrade. After making such a big deal about getting it, too. Lunculus Expedition Record. Beyond the gloom lies a hidden stronghold of the Frost family, who are known to have stood against the Mali uh, Milius family. Known as the Tethered Steeple, it was once an enormous prison meant to contain the nation's transgressors. Search the shadows, for the place hidden by magic lies beyond the Shroud of Darkness. Interesting. Hidden zones. Occasionally you may chance upon hidden rooms or paths during your journey. These are concealed by false walls that reveal their secrets when Lilac inter interacts with them. Okay. Are you talking about straight up like illusory walls? Like I need to smack them and then they open? Or are you just talking about the wall right here that has a clear outline and a shadow and just when you get close enough it reveals? Because I'm thinking of like DS2 illusory walls where like smacking them doesn't do anything but you have to press like A in front of them. I'm hoping it's just talking about that, which I've already seen a lot of at this point, so that's not exactly anything new for me. So, hopefully it's just more of that, and it's not something even crazier. Bing bing. I should probably go check that, though, yeah? This is probably progress. Actually, this just takes me back over here, so let's see what's at the end of this room. But then we can, uh, we can see. Uh-huh. Thank you. Is it just a bunch of enemies? It does appear to be. But yeah, the illusory walls in this, or illusory walls, the uh, hidden walls in this seem very, very telegraphed compared to even, I think, the last game. Um, so that'll make, that'll make it easier to find stuff. I'm used to games being pretty rude, so... So this opens up a whole ass new zone, and it mentioned that there was one also hidden in the place I'm going to next. Alright, so I can enhance you. Ooh, I can give you the two-handed axe! An axe that deals slow but powerful melee damage. Attack repeatedly, perform a combo. When faced with tougher enemies, Nola's weapon transforms into a mighty axe. You know I'm running the two-handed axe, come on. Once again, don't even care if it's not as efficient. It's cool. And that's all that matters. Boom. I do like that. Uh, so... Let us go ahead and equip you there. So you are on my X button. I mean, that's still pretty fast. Not quite as fast as the sword, of course, but... Still fantastic. This is where all the monkey lie discarded by the Milius family ended up. And then, just as the frost came along and gave us a new lease on life... Alright. Alright, yep. 
power looks ancient. Seems the fumes, fumes are affecting the environment as well. Oh yeah, this place looks great! Look at it! Wonderful. Okay. This probably leads to my rest spot? Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, big axe. Oh yeah, we got big axe. We're a we're axing all kinds of questions right now. Things are not prepared. Bonk. It does still take two hits to kill something like that, which is a bummer, but... It seems like if I take this elevator back up, I'll be able to drop to you. And we'll be able to do a little, little something something with that. Uh, okay, this just takes me across here, but I can do this. Open you. Bonk, 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 bonk. What you got? Amulet fragments. Okay, so level up, level 10. I didn't run into... I'm not, I'm not crazy, right? Okay, wait, there was one right there. Yeah, I need to, I need to equip my thingy. My other thingy. I mean, I've already cleared out that area pretty much, and I haven't really cleared out any enemies over there. I totally forgot when I stopped here to... Equipped my, equipped my other relics. Luckily, not too big of a deal, still, but... 3% of HP each time an enemy is defeated, or just less damage. I think for now I'll just go less damage. Generally, feels better. Tethered Steeple just makes me think of Creepy Steeple from uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and... Aesthetics aside, I don't think many people will like to remember that chapter of Thousand Year Door. Because <laughs> of uh, all the backtracking that it does require. What the? Oh, you got the... You're like that... You're like that one friend. I remember the one from Ender Lilies. They just have like a... Like a, a mace and their attack is just spinning it around. I think I use that in Ender Lilies quite a bit. You're very, very reminiscent of that enemy. Hello. God, I love my big chunky two-hand axe. Big chunky two-hander. It's great. Bye-bye. That's one way to just delete an enemy. Uh, so yeah, we should probably check out the rest of this room, and then we'll see what's going on. Uh, I think I missed my opportunity to be up there. None of that, please. Uh-huh. Bonk. Okay, is there anything here? Doesn't appear to be. I mean, yeah, it says there's nothing there, but I was thinking maybe some pots or something. Uh... Ow. There we go. Boom. None of you either. Cool. Sorted. What do we got down here? Chief of Tuner's Notes. Magical control over homunculi is said to be similar to the spells of old that were capable of manipulating the soul itself. Priestesses of the ancients who inhabited this land puppeteered souls thus to grow their power. This ancient sorcery can only be inherited through blood, and the Frost family's sorcerers pursued it desperately. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Some more lore about how exactly the world works. More Magislite mining record. The vast magical resources excavated from the lower stratum brought with it all manner of discoveries. Stones that could channel the elements themselves. Fire, ice. Since their finding, the, lands of, the Land of Fumes has produced many fire-powered arcane instruments. Be warned, for these arms are not to be wielded lightly, particularly when brandished by homunculi. Interesting. Here we're getting some elements. Status effect, blaze. Lilac or an enemy is hit by a fire-based attack may inflict the blaze status effect, during which HP will continually deplete. Blaze eventually wears off and can also be prevented through the use of certain relics. Yes, so this is a warning. So that we want to equip that thing. 
Might equip it. Might just go equip that. I also think if I can find another thingy... How much currency do we have? Because I might just be able to buy another... Thingy. 768. I think we're like... I think it's 775 for the next one, so we're like a little bit off. So, assuming the next boss fight... Ah, Mimic! And, uh, yeah. Assuming... <laughs> Assuming the next boss fight, you little shit. Ow! Um, assuming the next boss fight uses fire, um, we'll want to equip that to uh, make it a little bit easier on ourselves. So, well, that that scared me for like a second. Um, bang, bang. None of that, please. God, just swinging that big axe around feels great. There we are, and there we are. I think it was uh, Ender Lilies 1. I remember uh, when I, or Ender Lilies 1, what am I talking about? Ender Lilies, when uh, when I played that, I remember people who were so passionate about um, what things you used, but that happens with like any game with like builds and stuff like this. People are always like, play the game how I play it, damn it. Just like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep playing the game how I wanna play. Magic Vial. Hey! That's just what I was talking about I needed. I don't even have to go buy one. But yeah, people were very opinionated on uh, what what things you use in combination. They're like, this one's so, so good, but... I mean, I never really had problems going through the game. It wasn't like I was struggling, so... Ah! You're very spooky, and I need you to die for me now. Thank you. Appreciate ya. Oh my god, with all these mimics, you little shits. Eat shit. Go away. I'm tired of you. Uh, okay, we're good there. Down we go. Oh, okay, this leads to... Ah, okay. So this probably leads to a boss fight. I probably want to finish exploring this room. Cause there's a bunch of things down there. Like I said, I can teleport and get more uh, relic space, which I'm probably gonna want to do. I knew you were gonna come out of there, you little shit. Come here. That's right. Think about what you've done. Okay, it's the one over there. I know it is. No? Okay. Well, it's got something. Blighted dice. EXP gain plus 10% after felling an enemy. A dice imbued with a magic spell that improves the holder's luck. Crafted in the lower stratum, this arcane instrument is a rarity. I mean, that's fun. Level ups uh, are nice. Huh, okay. We'll consider that. We have a lot of currency and stuff, so... Let's see. Let's take a look at the map here, so... Is there anything else here? It doesn't appear to be. It appears to be it for that location. Okay. Obviously still have a few more question mark areas, but I need new abilities before I can do anything with that. Alright, so before I do that... Before I do that, we are going to fast travel back to town. And use the, the craft craftatorium or whatever, whatever they called it. Oh hey, it's the... yeah, 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 the two. Yeah, 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 your, your, your sister or brother or whatever? Goodness, she's okay. From now on, I'll make sure I protect her. Can't believe my brother fell down too. Thank you for saving me. That homunculus looked like he was about to fall apart. He told me to stay away. He left me here and went off by himself. Oh, where to? I wonder. Left you there and went off by yourself. Maybe to where I fought you. Oh, you're probably somewhere on the map. I just don't even know where I would begin to look. Um. Give. Thank you. Yeah, where would I even begin to look for where you went? Huh. Yeah, Yolvin's back? Yes. I'm a splendid attuner all the same. I know it. The only thing I can think of is where I fought them. That could be where they went to. But for now, let me equip my stuff that I want to equip. So, let's do that. Uh, relics. So, 
I seeing as I'm probably about to walk into a boss fight that probably uses fire, I think I want that, and I'll put the blighted dice on as well. This wouldn't even be helpful anyway. Um, equipment. We don't have any of these things yet. Nothing to do there. What's in the extras? Oh yeah, this is where you change clothing. Well, yeah, like I said, I didn't want to go back to that uh, that uniform anyway. This one's way better because it has some more color. Yeah, extras is where you did the clothing swap. Okay, so... Now, let us get back over here. So this is where I fought you. Oh, I'm realizing now on the map, it said area change on the thing. I thought that meant it would mark if like, you know, an NPC's quest updated at a specific location or something. No, it's just talking about like, yeah, that means you're going to a new zone. Was this where I fought you? No, this was not where I fought you. This is where I fought uh, Yolval. You were somewhere different. Uh, wasn't quite all the way over there, was it? I think it was here, 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 here. Oh, I thought I would check to see if you were over here. You were not, so if that's the case. I don't actually know where you went, but I do know I have all of my stuff activated. We should go down here. I can reactivate my owl to make sure it's on. Okay. Ooh, pretty background. Very red. And like, pink-purple mist. Uh... None of that. Whoop. Ow. You little shit. Come here. Bonk. Big bonk. Let's see. Hello? Okay, you're... Oh, you're just the spinny one. The spinny one is not bad at all. The spinny one can be handled quite easily. Oh. Hi. I'm just gonna wail on you while, uh... You do your startup there. Oh, hi. Okay, well, here's my enemy that has, uh... Uh, fire, like I talked about. Uh-huh. Ow, you did hit me there. Ow. Okay. Out of there, heal. Uh-huh. Ow. Very rude. I gotta be careful here. Don't really want to get clipped and die. Ooh, I can't actually stun you? I really didn't expect to be able to. I thought I'd hit you with the other ones, but... I got you, nonetheless. Alright, friend. What do you have to say? Oh, for Frost. It's a relief you made it back. Be careful, there's no such thing as a Saint Homunculus anymore. And nothing else to give, so please take it. Experimental amplifier, enhancing abilities, device fitted into the armaments of homunculi, yeah. There's no response. Okay, I didn't expect that I was walking into a boss fight right there, actually. Um, I thought it would have been earlier if I was gonna hit a boss fight. There's my level up. Ooh. That's the big one. Boom. I don't know quite how long they stay frozen, but I was getting a little bit scared there. Uh, can you re-aim, please, and actually hit your target? Well, that was pretty funny. I actually clipped the enemy from all the way up there. Interesting. Elevator? Elevator. Okay, so where does this take me? Oh, that's interesting. It, like, goes up the side. Like, the sloped surface. And this is how I activate the one from up there. Okay. So this could get me back to the checkpoint. Which would be ideal at this particular moment. No, you stop that. 
there. None of that, please. Bye bye. Okay, up we go. And sit. Let's take a little nap. All right, and we can enhance. So can't enhance you. Can't enhance you. The only thing I can really get is this. Which I'm gonna be honest, I I don't know if I'll like it more than uh, the other thing. We will see though. We'll give it a shot. I will try it. I can always just swap it off if I don't like it. So let's uh, put it on. Shoots a little bit slower. The bouncing is fun. So we'll see how we feel about it. I guess I can kind of... Yeah, it's, it's much, much harder to break enemies with it. Against multiple enemies, it would be better for sure. But I do kind of gotta play a little bit more carefully than just spamming now. To make up for its uh, weaknesses. Okay. Uh, I did manage to make it over here. This is what I was trying to get to. Yay! Now, if I stand on you, yes, I was actually right. Ow! Little shit. I mean, being able to hit the ones behind is quite nice. There you go, eat that. How am I going to go about getting up there? Looks like I got to go in here. Yeah, and then make my way up there. It's funny how they, like, bounce on the floor. Like, they actually interact with the floor and we'll just smack it. Whoop. It does do a pretty good amount of break damage, it just doesn't go nearly as quickly as the gun did. That doesn't work. I thought I could climb on top of that, like, chandelier-looking thing. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's... That's rude, if I've ever seen it. Okay, I mean, I still made it with some clever platforming, but... Yeah, I was supposed to keep up with the platform as it came by. Amulet fragment. Alright. Done. Now we go down here. Oh my goodness, hello. How are you doing this fine day? The enemy looks like a bear to me. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just supposed to be a big homunculus, but it looks like a bear. I mean, we've seen other animal experimentation homunculus already. There we go. Bye bye. Anything up here? Aha, yes there is. There is indeed -dee -dee -dee. What you got? 200 materials. No walls. Okay. Got there. Come, Lilac. We have more things to do. Ooh. Well, doesn't this area look nice? Possibly another pre-boss area. Um, so, I don't have any enhancements to do. I can't put any more relics down. I have no new equipment. So we are good there. Cool. Hello? Down? Boss fights? Nope, just more area. Okay. I'm down. Bonk. I think I see one of the things that give me more heals down there. Whoa, okay. And smack. Bye bye. Oh, this area is big. The room next to it is quite small, though. Maybe we should go that way first. Yeah, because that area just generally looks smaller, so maybe this was. Optional, the other one leads to like a whole ass zone. Ow! Eat that. That's right. Okay, this flower was not the flower I was thinking of. 
Ooh, big area. Okay, down we go. There's a treasure chest hiding down here for me. Dang. Boom. Yeah, we're running... This area, this area's enemies are like... A little bit different than some of the other ones we have, but luckily they're still taken out mostly the same ways. With my current kit. Oh, hey, look, it's you again. Definitely think the projectile ones are the most annoying ones so far. Most of the melee ones can kind of uh, be pretty easily defeated with some well-placed dodges and things. Still don't even really know if I prefer the the axe to the um, to the sword, but it's it gets cool points with me because it's a big, big, chunky two-handed axe, so that is enough. None of that. Ow. Some of that. Weird flower. Yeah, it really looks like something I would be able to in interact with, yeah? That's what I keep thinking when I see it, but... Evidently not. Now we go up. Oh, does it... Not do what I think it did. Oh, I can just climb up here. I thought now that I got rid of the things, I would just tell it to go up and it would bring me all the way up here, but no, evidently not. None of that. My freezy attack has you taken care of. Okay, so this is an actual chest. What do you got? Eye of the Ancients. Reduces cooldown for abilities by 10%. Ancient arcane instrument fashioned by the Frost family. The eerie blue eye sealed inside is known to gaze the holder eternally. Remains in doubt whether the eye is even real or not. Huh. Yeah, if I had a dollar for every time uh, magical eyes made it, it was a thing. You know, you got, you got all the magical eyes in like Naruto. You got the ones in uh, Hunter Hunter. And stuff like that. Okay, which way do I want to go? That, that area still seems like way big, but this could just be a connecting room. Like this one was. I'm going to go over here. Uh, like, I would like for one of these to be a dead end. Um, trying to hit you. There we go, that's what I wanted. Hello, I'm here now with my giant axe. Haven't you made mistakes in life? Oh god, now I've made mistakes in life. It's fine, our, our buzzsaw gun <laughs> is quite good. Hello. Yeah, this just turns this enemy off. Just completely turns them off. I love interacting with systems like this because it really, really encourages you to kind of use everything the game gives you access to. And I definitely, both in like Metroidvanias, RPGs and stuff, I kind of love, I think of it as like, kind of sitting back and seeing what I have on like my utility belt basically like if I'm having a difficult time with the boss I'm like how can I switch my strategy up to make this better and I just kind of sit there and plan and create a craft a strategy to specifically just screw over this one enemy I'm having difficulty with and I just love the feeling when like all that planning kind of comes together it's very very fun very very fun in my opinion all right so let's and go up to the upper path this time because it seems like we definitely definitely missed some stuff up there i think i said it earlier but uh yeah i i uh i hope you enjoy this one metroidvania fans i was uh not sure if i would be able to do it or not but i was like you know what it's coming out and then when i saw how long people were saying it was like this was a very spur of the moment thing Excerpt from the Book of the Blighted. As the mind, body, and soul of those afflicted with the blight is consumed, rot spreads throughout. This rot possesses superb regenerative properties, granting un undying flesh. The link between mind and body is cut in time, and the host is driven purely by the wrath of the blight. Only the miracle of the priestesses can grant the blighted salvation. 
Body and soldiers of the supplies can soon rot, spreads throughout. Grand dying flesh, link between body and kind time. The miracle the priestesses can grant. So this, I think, is directly linking to um, in the first Ender Lilies. I think that was, because it specifically mentions the priestesses and the rot. And I believe we had something, yeah, when, it, when we had an excerpt about the, the Frost family. I believe that was talking specifically about, um, yeah. Since it seems like this is set in the future compared to Ender Lilies, I think that's what this is going for. I definitely, definitely think that's what this is going for. Um, all with that writing, yeah. Hmm. There, there was one we found in like the Frost family place that was talking about like ancient magic and wanting to keep that blood alive with the priestesses because our character in the first game was a priestess, so. Grimoire. Unlock new items that can be forged at crafteries. Excerpt from the Milius family grimoire. Determine, uh, detailing how arcane instruments are fashioned. Ooh. Thank you. That appears to be everything here. And yeah, it just fills in the map once you get everything. That's quite nice. So you don't have to deal with the Metroidvania problem if you're trying to fill in the map where it's like there's one corner that you didn't technically touch, so it didn't fill it in on the map. I always like when Metroidvanias do this kind of thing where once you clear it, it just fills it in for you. Um, or some of them do like you just have to get 75% and then once you get 75%, it just fills the rest in for you for the people that would freak out and be like, oh my God, it's not filled in. Just because there's like a tiny speck. Which would be me, mind. That would be me. So yeah, I just got the eye. Don't particularly care about that, I will say. Uh, we will fast travel back, and I'm probably gonna have to check that room as well. You know what, why don't we do that right now? And then when we're done with that room, we will fast travel back and see what new things we can make because this might give me more of the currency I need to make the stuff because currently I have 602 that's probably enough for something but if it's like a relic I would assume that would be about in the price range of like a thousand would be my assumption so if that is the case we're gonna need a little bit more and I did remember that we saw kind of a mining spot over here give all right, bonk, and keep going down this way. Now, you little shit. That's right. Fall and break. Boom, boom. Dunzo. Boom, boom. What do we got? Homunculus Research Log 2. Requiring neither food nor water, homunculi instead find sustenance and magical energy. We have even been able to fashion homunculi that are resistant to the blight of the lower stratum by way of preserving and subsequently replicating souls. The once impossible task has yielded an unexpected results. Regenerative abilities in our subjects. Land of Origins is in our reach. Interesting. Yeah, because wasn't the whole thing in the first game was that the priestess was able to protect themselves from the blight? So they could go to areas that other characters could not. Yeah. Been a while, but I remember I remember bits and pieces. Like I said, memory terrible. Worst memory possible. Ro rolled the lowest memory stat possible. All right. Might be it might be a bit of the uh the old ADHD being a part of it too, especially in regards to things. Have a harder time retaining information for sure. Uh, I can't dive, so that's not happening. Please don't let there be like water enemies that are gonna come and get me. Okay, we can go in here. Ooh, bunch of currency. Thanks. Ooh, and 150 materials. Would you look at that? Just a ton of materials. So yeah, this is an area I will be able to go to if I get the ability to swim. Something tells me the ability to, well, not the ability to swim, the ability to dive. Something tells me that might not be in yet. Um, seeing as that's the only instance of that I've ran into, I believe. 
There was like some some poo water I remember, but I don't actually know if there would have been anything in the poo water. Oh, that was the wrong way. Whoops. I was scratching my face there, totally disrespecting Chainsaw Lad over here. So that was uh, that was my bad. Okay, so yeah, there's a few more things. Oh. I really did not want to fall there. There you go. Good. A few more materials. Thanks to the old chests. Okay. And... This area now. This is where I think I've been, right? I mean, it says there's nothing in here. Yeah, because this is, this is the area I went up there. So, yeah, we're good now. I've explored the zone I meant to explore. Oh hey, it actually does pause the game. I had a kind of a worry for a second that that thing was going to attack me while I was in the menu because I'm so used to like souls likes and stuff doing that, but no, nah, we're good. Okay, before we go over there though, back to town because that's why I went that way first, grabbed all of my materials. And all that jazz. It is unfortunate that we can't swim, so we can't go down there. But back to town. Good. Run, run, run. Hello. I've been told you can craft me new things. What happens if I talk? Destructed zones are bad news. Don't go letting your guard down. Thank you. Thistle Bangle. Increases base abilities, mainly defense. Disintegrated core. A component for unlocking or enhancing abilities. Well, I can get all of this. So I shall. Cool. Disintegrated core of an inactive homunculus. Most cores from the homunculi that have gone berserk cannot be removed and are referred to as decaying cores. It is a rarity to find an intact core in the land of fumes. Alright. If I had saved up a little bit more, I could have afforded... Uh, you know, another relic slot, but I don't think that'd be particularly helpful at this point. Like, it would be useful, but... So, I have the crude one and worn. So... Mainly defense. What are these stats? So that's... Heal potency and defense. So this one gives me heal potency. This one... Just gives me heal potency? Okay, that's interesting, because it says increases base ability, mainly defense. It doesn't give me... Oh, wait, no, that is defense. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I had it wrong. Mainly defense here is... Well, no, it doesn't give mainly defense. It gives mainly healing. <laughs> so some of these might still need to be updated and things like that, so... Um, he increased my heal. This one... Increases... Ooh, my attack. Yes, please. Defense and attack, that sounds fine to me. If I just take less damage in the first place, I won't need the bigger heals, will I? Okay, so... Yeah, we have a few areas still not totally finished off, but I need the ability to rid myself of the tumors. Not myself, the world. Before uh, I can do anything with that. Thank you, Hati. <clears throat> so. Let's get in. Okay. Hi. Never thought I'd run into you here, the Grim Reaper of Milius. I just realized I didn't use those upgrade things I just got. So if I die to this boss, I'll do that. But yeah, I totally forgot I, I bought those and didn't use them. But well, let's see how we fare. Hi. Shackled beast. Okay, get out of there. Uh, ow. Okay, you're gonna be a little bit more difficult. Get out of there. Yeah. It's a lot more difficult. 
Yeah, that attack I gotta be a little bit more careful with. Oh, I don't even have my, my owl active. Gotta heal again. You just do like a windmill. Ow. Ooh. Get out of there. Don't think I'm gonna be able to do this, but I want to at least try. I'm really surprised I, I live there. I should be dead. Ooh, I did actually freeze you. Out of there. Ow. Oh, I'm still alive somehow. No, not your roar. That actually damaged me. Oh. Ah. Oh. I tried to dodge. I tried. That's fine though. <laughs> now we can uh, now we can upgrade. I'm not sure how much of a difference this will make, but I th I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with that boss. Okay, so uh, disintegrated core. So this rocket fist fires a projectile diagonally upward. It can penetrate enemies and bounce off solid surfaces. Can be used in conjunction with other abilities. Although he despises his prosthetic arm, he ultimately chooses to wield its true potential in the name of aiding his comrades. Drill shots. Releases a short-range tornado capable of staggering enemies. This ability ignores the enemy's defense. One may move freely while it is in effect. <sighs> Weapon crafted by Yolvan, motivated by a desire to aid Lilac. I do like... I do like that. Um... I do like that quite a bit. Um, I do wonder if I would rather have Slayer than Vanquisher here. Um, I'm gonna try swapping off of Vanquisher and see how Slayer feels. Obviously, I am swapping off of this to use Drill Shot. Um, there was the ability to en still ability to enhance. Yeah, I guess I could get the Rocket Fist. I don't know if I want it though. I feel like I would rather just have the the other one. I'll unlock it just because I have the capability to, but I don't think I'm gonna use it right now. Diagonal, I'll I'll miss it basically. I know I will. All right, so our first death. Cool. Like I said, now I can try out some of my other abilities and things. Hello. So you must be talking about Nola there. Hello. Okay. That is fun. Yeah, and then I just use this to just totally break you. And then I do this. Yeah, okay, this is way better. Uh-huh. Oh my god, I pressed the wrong ability there. Out of there. Okay. Oh. Wait, I still got hit by that? Still got hit. Whoop. Ah, what? That hit me? The backlash? Oh, you little jerk. There we go. Ow. Keep trying to get out of there and it's does not work out in my favor. Uh-huh. Whoop. Watch out. Okay. There we go. Definitely do this. Oh. That doesn't stagger you while you're stunned. Okay. Okay, and there's the roar. Not having a, um... Whatchamacallit, a ranged attack does actually kind of blow a little bit. 
since it is so key to getting my long range damage down. Oh, it's not where I meant to go. That is not where I meant to go at all. Not where I meant to go at all. Okay. Uh-oh, one of these. Okay. Mm-hmm. Whoop. Okay, yeah, do that. No, swing, please. There we go. Whew. A little bit of HP, but yeah, definitely hardest boss so far. You had some stuff. But we wouldn't- but we couldn't make it. I actually think I would have per- I, I would have done better with the gun there. I think that would have been much easier to use. The drill, very good for stagger damage, but I think the gun would have been better because I could just keep it up all the time, basically, and even hit you from a distance, whereas with the drill I got it. Get kind of close, I guess. I guess the range is about the same, honestly, but... Whew. Hey, friends. I'm honestly happy I died to you, though, because they did get to try stuff. Two attuners reported back from the lower stratum. They found it, the Shackled Beast. A blight. Fumes from the lower stratum have reached the crystalline realm. Even resistant homunculi have gone berserk. Berserk? Finally sobered up, free from your brainwashing, damn humans. You're a tuner, Amelius' abandoned pet. You think any different from a homunculus? We're one and the same. Help me put an end to this nightmare. Getting to stick to stick it to those Amelius scum, not a bad deal. Show me how far you're willing to go, a tuner. Okay, so you're from Frost, clearly, because it said they did not like each other, so sticking it to Amelius. It's power. Frost? There's still hope. Was it what was it you called me? The Grim Reaper of Milius? Lost your memories too, haven't you? For all you know, we've met before. Not that you, they'd be good memories if the Miliuses were involved. He should be slightly less unruly once we prove our strength. You do well to restrain him. I don't answer to you. I pledge my allegiance to, my allegiance to the Frosts. There's no need to fight. Whatever. Nothing left here for me to protect anyway. Survivor from the Frosts, I'll act as your shield. Hey, thank you. Counter! There we go. That's my repost. Tempered into a formidable weapon by Melia's family experiments, this homunculus was abandoned by his former masters after proving too difficult to control. He was subsequently tasked with exploring the lowest depths of the land of fumes. Depths from whence few return. But return he did, and with two attuners in tow. Yeah. Too difficult to control. That's why you were shackled by Melia's. Yeah. Counter ability. While activating the Shackled Beast's counter ability, Lilac will momentarily assume a defensive stance, during which enemy attacks will be automatically negated and countered. Be warned, however, timing is key, and that the ability requires a period of cooldown before it may be used again. I mean, I do love a counter. I think I'm realizing, too, in that fight, I didn't activate my owl. <laughs> I'm so bad with those activation abilities. I don't think I used many of them. I mean, I used it, but I was also bad at remembering to activate it. I wish it just, like, always stayed on until I specifically told it no. But it seems like it resets. So we're gonna take uh, that off and put on our counter ability instead, because I'm way, way, way more interested in that, honestly. Because, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, forgetting to put my owl on pretty consistently. So, yeah. Let's see here. Memories. Beasts memories. There's a boss rush. That's fun. Predetermined destiny. The tethered steeple is the last bastion for homunculi with nowhere else to go. That's my story too. Failed experiment. The Milius has left me to rot in the lower stratum. And a tuner from the Frost family saved us all. Got us up, set up in that tower. Worked out for them too. Kept the Miliuses from taking over the place. I was wondering, I was like, yeah, you are smoking, aren't you? 
damn Meliuses. They kept creating more and more homunculi, but I'm going to put an end to that. We don't get to choose, you know. Our fates are set in stone from the day we're born. It's a raw deal. Yeah? Yeah, that is uh, usually the problem with these things. Okay. Um, homunculi, bye-bye, owl. Um, it's been nice knowing you. So, parry. Protect Lilac from enemy attacks. In a fit of rage, the test subject when no name tore free of the chains that bound him. Yes. So, this I'm much happier with. Ooh, that seems quite long, too. Oh, wow, yeah, that's... I mean, it's, it's, it's on a cooldown, so it makes sense, but... Look at that, that's one, two, th ooh, almost three. Might be like two and a half seconds. Of course, I wasn't counting super accurately either. Yeah, that's a pretty long parry window. This path is not accessible in the early version. Please look forward to future updates. Okay, so we have it hit the end of content, I believe. Um, I don't really know that there's even anything else we can do at this particular point. Uh, if we look at the map, I don't have the ability to destroy those things, the tumors. There's nothing else here. I can't dive. Uh, this might be all that we can accomplish right now because, I mean, I don't have like a downward slam attack, so I don't think that's possible. Uh, this one also requires a downward slam. This one does not, but Unless it's like, oh, you need the axe to do it. It does feel weird that they, um... Specifically have things in here you can't get yet. I would think, like, you know, maybe we would be able to access everything. Let me try... Um, up here. There was that note we got, too, about there being an area hidden in shadow. Um... In, uh, what's it called? Ow, you little shits. Uh, hidden in shadow in that, that one zone. Yeah, no, we're not getting through those doors. So this might be it. This might be it for now. We can't go up the diagonal of, up there. Like I said, I didn't feel the need to do everything since I was just looking at this. Uh, you know, just as like a, oh, let's play through the entire early access, basically, kind of thing. But I'll look around just to make sure I've done everything that I can, I think. And then, uh, we'll probably look into ending off. Ah, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, I found it. So, we could continue this area. So, I just walked on this part of the elevator, and I was like, oh, I guess it's not working. I had to walk to the middle, and the middle will activate. Okay, okay, I just thought I would come check back over here to make sure I didn't miss anything. But yeah, you could walk pretty far on this without, like, the prompt showing up. So, huh, I wonder if that's something they'll fix, because I could see a lot of people being confused by this, because I was thinking since this wasn't active, the elevator wouldn't be here or work, but... Okay, well apparently that's something I missed. So we can continue up this way, and we have a little bit more game to go. Residents of the lower stratum are strictly prohibited from entering the Magicite mines. The theft of magical material will result in prosecution. Furthermore, due to an increase in miners failing to return from the second stratum of the crystalline realm, the area will be cordoned off. Okay. Hey, more gameplay! More stuff to do. Ah! I didn't mean to have my... my map up that long. Okay, so that thing is... absurdly good. At breaking, like, regular enemies. Obviously. The boss, um, was a little bit tankier in that regard. Gotcha. God, you just, like, stagger immediately. It's kind of absurd. Like, you have to be a little bit careful using it. It's kind of dangerous to use, in my opinion, but, like, sometimes, because there's, like, a little bit of a delay before you can start doing something again, but... All right. Let's see what we got. So, probably don't need the fire thing on anymore. So I could put on like one of these, but eh, I don't really feel the need. I'm kind of happy with where I'm at. Boss fight? We do get another boss fight. I'm glad I didn't miss this.
Nice flowers. Are these homunculi graves? I can hear the cries of my friends. My friends, friends, friends. Oh, Garm the Giant Gravedigger. Okay. Okay, you have that, which is very, very annoying. Okay, that attack sucks, friend. That attack is terrible. I really wish you would not. Yeah, the shockwave is... Okay, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to change some things to beat you. I can already see. You're also very tanky. Damn it. Yeah, you're gonna be a rough one. I'm really, really bad at shockwaves. I always have been my entire life. So yeah, you seem like a massive, massive pain to deal with in that regard. I once again also think I do want the gun back. Because it just seemed a little bit better. But... Ow, not this attack. Okay. Yeah. Definitely dying to you. Either of the guns I would be happy with, honestly. Don't even know if that hit you. Oh, yep, you clipped me. Okay. I think we can fix that, though. I think we can fix that, so... Let's rest. Um, let's change out our homunculi abilities. Maybe I try you instead of the sword. Um, I do have my parry now. I didn't, I didn't even use my parry in that fight. So we'll try that. I don't think I want the drill. I think I want the barrage shot. That's not going to be super effective against you. Maybe we can go back to the Blazing Fist. Let's let's put that back on too. Just to get that dot damage. And then we'll give um we'll give the parry a shot as well. For, you know, when you're shooting out those stupid projectiles at me. All right. Come at me, nerd. And I do think I might like the axe a little bit more against you. I would like to skip ahead. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're just like really, really jumpy. Which, uh... Okay, that did not help at all. That was actually a detriment more than anything. Might like the owl more against you because you're not easily parryable. Okay. Hello. That's the attack I need to bait for a parry, but you don't do that attack that much, honestly. I guess it's because I'm not close enough that you don't do that. Ooh, not this thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, wow, you're the hardest enemy. You're the hardest boss. You're much harder than previous nerd was. Okay. Play it safe here. Uh huh. Whoop. Okay. Ow! Like right into it. Oh my god, stop jumping! Okay. Yeah, this enemy's a pain, my god. The jumping is, uh... is a problem. Do you think I want the owl here? Like, I think I can do it, obviously. But, uh, I'm gonna struggle the entire time. Because of that. When you, like, jump right on top of me, that's pretty difficult, actually. Okay, so, once again, let's adjust. I don't know about the parry. 
Like I said, this boss has a bunch of attacks where I don't feel like the parry is super useful. I might just be, like, not appreciating it, though. But it does have a long cooldown, and the only attack I really feel safe proccing it off of is the, um... The kick. So... Let's take you off, and put on the owl instead. Uh, there we go. I actually do think the axe was better, I think Blazing Fist was probably better, and I do think Barrage Shot was better as well. So with that, we will give it another shot. No, I hate when you just jump on me like that. It's the worst! Because I get hit by the... I get hit by the shockwave and you. That's rude. My god. Definitely the hardest fight so far, and it's like... It's not even that your moveset is particularly scary or anything, it's just... That one attack is really, really good. Like, this one's kind of spooky too, but it's mostly just that jump. Okay. That is just... rough to deal with. God, that was an awful spot to be when you did that. Okay, what, were you getting stronger now? What is this? Oh my god, yes you are! Holy! <laughs> Actually difficult. Wow, okay. You're also just a massive tank. Like, I don't... I don't feel like I'm doing a ton of damage to you, no matter what I use. I am mostly using the Barrage Shot. I might want to get in there a little bit more with my other things. Um, so, wait, how do I unlock these things? Yeah, yeah, huh. I need stuff I don't have. Okay. Um, well, let's look at our relics a little bit more here and see. 10% reduced cooldown doesn't feel effective, and I'm already taking less damage from the fire, so. Yeah, let's just uh, give it another good college try here. Oh my god, I just realized I didn't have the stupid owl activated. Just auto-activate, I'm so bad at remembering it, it's my own fault though. It's my own fault. Here I was talking about my damage was low. Wait, it deactivates when I get into the fight too? That's weird. Yeah, like even after- I, I activated it before the fight started and then it just deactivated again. Okay, I think we've got you this time. The Owl is helping a lot when I, you know, actually use it. It, it helps quite a bit. Because it's just extra passive damage that I get. So, um... Yeah. You know, things are going a little bit better this time. I think we've got it. I shouldn't speak too soon, though. Ow! Especially because that shit exists. Oh my god. God, that does a lot of damage. Jesus Christ. And you just do it every time now. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm definitely dying again. I talked my shit. I deserve this if I die. Okay. Out of there. Okay, you're down. No! I dodged, but you still got me. Oh my god, this boss is hard. Yeah, so if you activate, um... If you activate Owl Friend here... Um... Doesn't actually stay for the boss fight, which is, uh, odd. Like, it gets deactivated, because <laughs> it goes away for the cutscene. Um, I feel like it's very, very easy to forget to turn that on. It, it could definitely just be me, and a lot of the times, yes it is, but it would be nice if it just stayed on.
Ah. God, you do so much damage and take so much damage. I really thought the other enemy was going to be like the really, really hard boss of this... ...of this game. But... no, apparently not. I mean, I don't really have any other things to do. I could go get like another relic slot. No, I don't even have enough material for that. I could like grind, but... That's boring. It really is just like getting better at dodging your attacks, but I do feel like I do so little damage to you. I know I talked shit last time, but this time, I think... Oh my god. Holy shit, as soon as I stop talking, shut your stupid ass mouth up, me. Fuck, you just start comboing me super hard. Oh my god. Die, you stupid Dompe the Gravedigger bastard. Get out of here. You have so much health and do so much damage. Get me over this. Oh, I didn't get over it. It's fine. You have like no HP left, right? Thank you. Oh my god. I was really bad at that boss. Jeez. Oh. Completely unprepared for that too. Nothing else in the game has been remotely that hard. I mean, there were some areas I could optimize, like, I was jumping over, I realized I'd formed the habit of jumping over the shockwaves, um, instead of just dashing through them, and maybe I could have optimized a little bit by dashing through the shockwaves instead of jumping over them to get hits on the boss a little bit faster, but... God, I, I... you did a lot of damage. And, you know, like, one hit from anything but, like, the little fireballs you throw out takes me to half HP, so I don't realistically have that many heals. And the big fireballs that you throw out when you get into your second phase do a ton of damage, but... Um, yeah, obviously it was just a little bit of tightening up my movement, learning, uh... and shutting up, of course, that definitely helps. That got me through that. And activating, remembering to activate the damn owl. Isn't safe here. Townsfolk aren't allowed. Thank you for saving me. Homunculus or not, it's best you not go too far into the lower stratum. You find yourself in danger? Oh my god, I missed that. My memory isn't the best. I wonder, will I be able to remember? Here, take this necklace of flowers. Wear it and surely you won't forget. If you're ever in trouble, I'll come to your aid where the flowers bloom. Oh, that's why you have the flower... flower necklace. Mongoli labor for humans, but now I want to help and protect my friends. Must I aid the homunculi too? Please lend me your strength. Yeah, you were really annoying. Please lend me your strength. Ah, oh, Garm's Iron Stake. While airborne, down X. Is this what I use to destroy the things? You can dive with Garm while airborne. Diving deals damage to... Enemies and also lets you destroy breakable, breakable floors to the reveal new paths. The greater your height, the more your damage. While pressing down X while airborne will cause uh, Garm to perform a diving attack, creating a shockwave. You can use this ability to access previously inaccessible areas and secrets. Um, the greater height from when you perform this move, the more damage, allowing for sturdy barriers to be dispelled. Interesting? So, admittedly, when I was trying to figure out if I was missing anything, I looked up... Um, you know, like discussions about the game, and the reason, one of the reasons I knew that I was missing an area is because people are like, there's two points where it tells you that this is as far as the demo, as the early access goes. So I knew I was missing something somewhere, but people, I did see a post that said, somebody was like, is there any way to destroy the tumors? And somebody was like, no, no, you can't. You can, you can destroy these. 
you just can't destroy the the horizontal ones or the vertical ones. You can do, you can destroy the horizontal ones, like this. But you can't destroy the ones that go up and down. You gotta get the smashy smashy. It's like weight of sin and blasphemous. Okay, yeah, that was definitely a step above the other bosses that I've fought so far, in my opinion. Well, thank you for giving me weight of sin. Um, it is something that I love. Okay, and this is tough ground, so we gotta do one of those to get through that. I wish to be left alone. I feel liberated, even though I no longer have a purpose. Okay. Me up here. Unidentified amplifier, yay! That makes Nola more powerful. Cool. Whew, okay. Yeah, I wonder if other people had as hard a time with that boss as I did. Um, that's... That, that was... that was... that was rough. That was rough. Maybe there's like a damage upgrade thing I could have gotten at some point, or maybe I... Did, did something wrong, you know? It... it happens. I am human. But, uh... That was a pretty wild fight. And I'm just gonna run past you dorks, because I cannot be bothered. Um, there is something up here I need to go grab, though, so... Now we do the thing that I was talking about... That I said I wasn't gonna do. But, uh, here we are, where, um, I go collect... The things, because any of these could lead to new areas, so... I just wanna make sure that's not a thing. What do you got for me? Amulet Fragment increases my HP, that's quite good. So, where to next? Uh... So we can't get through that one, that one's not possible. This one is. So let's teleport over here. But yeah, there was a post that straight up said like, Oh yeah, you can't get through the tumors yet, so I wonder if they didn't find that boss? Funnily enough, one of the posts was talking about, like, I don't know where to go. And they were, uh, I know there's more areas, but I don't know where they are. They were talking about the, the steeple place that I did find. But they were not saying they were missing, you know, the, the Gorm fight. I didn't see anyone saying that enemy was particularly hard, so I feel like I'm just bad. <laughs> like, it definitely took a lot of damage, but maybe there's some other way to optimize it that other people used and I was not. I mean, I feel like damage-wise, the sword may be better for that, just because you can get swift attacks off faster, but... I don't know. There's my magic vial. Another equipment slot, so... That's all of those. I can't get through the doors, as far as I understand. The doors need to be opened from the other side. Oh, wait, there's this. Yeah, I never went to the right over here. That's how we get through that door. Yeah, I forgot. We do still have to go that way. To the right from this area. God, this is not going to inspire confidence in my ability to play the, the, the real game, is it? My performance is, uh... I mean, I, I have been recording for three hours, so I'm sure my efficacy is, you know, just going down, because the longer you sit here and play and talk, uh, it just lowers your ability to perform. Oh, you poor little doofus, you tripped. Little did you know you're playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl. How unfortunate for you. Um, no? Okay. Go away. Yeah, I wasn't super happy with the parry. Um, it seems like it just makes you invincible for, like, a few frames. But, uh... I feel like... I, um... Prefer just having this instead, even if I do forget about it most of the time. Just because, uh, yeah. The parry wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought maybe it would, like, make the enemy recoil, and then you could get in a few hits. But no, it kind of just makes you invincible, but they still continue their attacks. So if it's like a, you know, a long-winded attack or something like that, they're just going to continue to beat the shit out of you while that is going off. The Fire Fist is quite good, though, I must say. That one I do love quite a bit. What deactivated my owl again? I swear, I, I must just be hitting B on accident. Unlocks new items, yay. I must just be pressing B on accident. There's... 
There's no way. It just, like, randomly deactivates. I did see a post that said that the owl needed to be buffed. Which... I mean... I don't know, I, f I feel like it's okay at its job for just acting as, like, a... an ambient little friend that fires thing fires at things for you. I just wish it didn't, like, disappear and then I forget to activate it, but that's just as much me. So... Okay, what is this? Oh. Oh, we're just... We're just back over here. It just- it just took me up here. So that's where that gets me. Interesting. Yeah, okay. So we found out how to get through there. That's one locked door taken care of. There might be something at the end of this path though, so I should check it. Just in case. No, there's not. Okay. Um, so we've done that. Seen you, but it can't get through. So we have this. And are there any more of those anywhere? I think that's it. I think that's it. I still have not seen the second point that someone mentioned where they were like, yeah, there's two points where it says this is all. The only other thing I can think of is I can weight of sin in the water here to plunge down there. I don't particularly know how that would work though. Let's uh let's go see about this and also see what the new items that we have access to are. Whew. Hello. Uh stone bangle increases all oh, defense by 30. And then this increases healing power and defense. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I never felt the need to increase my healing power that much. With my current amount of HP, the, the heals seem to fill me up pretty much all the time. So that didn't feel super needed. Um, but, yeah, it's mostly just that I'm scared to get that level 1 HP in the first place. Stay back, don't come any closer. Yeah... This path is not accessible in the early access version. Okay. So that's the other path. All right. I suppose that means we are done now then. Um, so cool. Very, very cool. We've looked at pretty much everything here. I can't go there. Um, I'm, I'm should I try it? I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. Like, I'll just fly back up the water. Like, I'll dive into it and then just come back up. I'm going to assume that's not gonna work. And part of that's because I've been recording for three hours and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty hungry and sleepy right now, so. But all right, yeah. That appears to be all that we can do. Sans maybe a few things that I may have missed or something like that, but very, very cool game. Um, that one boss seems pretty, pretty hard. I wonder if, uh, I'm gonna see other people have difficulty with that one, or if I'm just bad. Uh, probably that one. But, uh, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed our, uh, trip through Ender Magnolia here. Hopefully the Metroidvania fans enjoy it, like I said. Very, very much looking forward to the full release of the game, and we'll be interested in seeing how much stuff changes. Uh, we of course will have to like replay these parts, but I'm sure things will be changed things will be balanced differently And we also don't know how long it is until this game gets released out of early access, so Yeah, I think that is it for me. So you are free from my bad playing tyranny So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time for something else